Welcome to Fanfiction Uploads your hub for anime audiobooks. Love anime and great stories? You're in the right place. Enjoy high quality audiobooks from your favorite series, perfect for any time. Our professional narrations span various genres, from action to romance, with frequent updates for fresh content. Subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Connect with fellow fans in the comments and share your story requests. Thanks for joining us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the anime adventures. Welcome to Fanfiction Uploads where anime comes to life. Looking at Vegeta, who had become the fourth order of Super Scion, Dr. Giro and Dr. Meow's faces changed drastically. They all have breath-sensing devices installed on their bodies, so at this moment, no one knows better than the two of them how powerful the aura emanating from Vegeta's body is. Such a powerful energy. I didn't expect Vegeta to hide such a power, I really underestimated him. Dr. Gro said with a gloomy face. Is this the power of the fourth order of super science? It's really shocking and powerful. Vegeta clenched his fists slightly, feeling the majestic energy in his body, and his face showed an excited look. Although he knew that the power of the Super Scion Fourth Order was very strong, when he really became the Super Scion Fourth Order, Vegeta was still shocked by the power in his body. What a powerful aura, is this the Fourth Order of Super Scion? Great, Daddy will be able to beat that guy this way. Trunks also said excitedly. Super 17, don't waste time, get rid of this damn guy for me. Dr. Meow instructed Super 17. Super 17, however, only glanced at him, then nodded slowly. Wu. Then he slammed his right foot on the ground, and his body rushed directly towards the Super 4 Vegeta. Super 17 was so fast that in an instant, his body was already in front of Vegeta. Then a punch slammed out. Humph. However, in the face of his sudden attack, Vegeta only smiled indifferently. Then he stretched out his palm lightly. Smack! The palm of his hand easily blocked Super 17's fist. Wu! What? Seeing that his attack was actually blocked by Vegeta, Super 17 couldn't help but frown slightly, revealing a surprised expression. Yo! Is this shocking? My power is much more than that. As she spoke, the corners of Vegeta's mouth curled. Then the other hand clenched into a fist and slammed into Super 17's abdomen. Bang! The moment the sound of the collision came out, Super 17's body suddenly retreated hundreds of meters into the distance as if it had been sealed with a broken line. His feet plowed out two tracks on the ground. Great! Is this the power of the Super Scion Fourth Order? Now Daddy has won. Seeing Vegeta fly Super 17 so easily, Trunks' expression immediately became excited. No. Trunks. That guy doesn't seem to be hurt. At this time, Sun Gohan said with a solemn face. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Although on the surface, Vegeta's punch did hit Super 17 hard, but if you look closely, it is not difficult to find that a pale green protective barrier appeared in front of Super 17 just now and Vegeta's punch was completely dissolved by the protective barrier. Gohan-sama, what did you say? Hearing this, Trunks' face showed an expression of disbelief. But when he looked closely, he found that as Gohan said, Super 17 was not injured. How so? Trunks said in disbelief. Ha ha ha. Do you think you can really beat my triumph? Super 17's protective barrier can withstand all attacks, and your attacks can't hurt him in the slightest. Dr. Gro said with a smug expression. He specially made this super protective barrier for him when he made Super 17, as long as this protective barrier is not broken, then no one can hurt Super 17. This idiot. Dr. Meow glanced at Dr. Gro with a grim expression. It looks like we're going to get rid of this guy quickly and he may have the other means to keep number 17 later. Cut. It's just a turtle shell, so let me Vegeta shatter your turtle shell completely. 
After saying that, Vegeta clenched his fists, and Golden Aura instantly gushed out. Wuyu! Vegeta then slammed his feet into the ground, tearing a huge hole in the ground beneath his feet. And Vegeta's body also rushed towards Super 17 at this time. Give me death! With a roar, Vegeta immediately clenched his fists and blasted out at Super 17. Ah! Uh -huh. Super 17 also roared, and also clenched his fist and blasted out at Vegeta's body. Bang! The moment the two fists collided, a loud noise came. Then both of their bodies fell backwards in opposite directions. However, Vegeta only retreated more than 10 meters before stabilizing his body. Super 17, on the other hand, flew out completely upside down and finally crashed into the building where it was. It's really anti-beating. But I'm not going to give you a chance to fight back. As he spoke, Vegeta's body slowly floated into the air. Whoa! Whoa! Then he alternated his hands and launched the Prince strategy in the direction where Super 17 was located. A series of energy bombardments quickly bombarded Super 17's body. Uh -huh. However, in the face of Vegeta's energy bomb blasting at him, Super 17 didn't dodge at all. Instead, he opened his arms and let the energy bombard his body. Every time the energy bomb hit Super 17's body, Super 17's face showed an expression of enjoyment. And those energy bombs were absorbed into his body by all of them and transformed into his own energy. After three minutes of continuous bombardment, the already dilapidated western capital became even more like hell at this moment, with huge sinkholes everywhere. Finding that the other party did not react at all, Vegeta stopped. Cut. Scrap copper and rotten iron is scrap copper and rotten iron, and it is not vulnerable at all in front of my Super Scion Fourth Order. Looking at the thick black smoke in the distance, Vegeta showed a satisfied expression. However, due to the continuous use of energy cannon attacks, Vegeta's breathing has become a little short at this moment. Seventeen is out, now it's your two guys' turn. Looking at Dr. Giro and Dr. Miao in the distance, Vegeta smiled smugly. Solve 17. Vegeta, are you really sure that 17 has been taken out by you? Facing Vegeta, who was approaching step by step, Dr. Miao not only did not panic at all, but laughed. What do you mean by that? In the face of an attack like mine, let alone 17, even Kakarot can't withstand it. Speaking of this, Vegeta's expression froze instantly. Because Super 17 didn't know when he actually appeared behind him. Wuyu! What? You guy, how can it be? Vegeta looked shocked, completely unaware of how the other party survived such an attack of his own. Bang! Before he could react from the shock, Super 17 punched him in the abdomen. Bang! With a punch into the abdomen, Vegeta's body instantly bent into the shape of a prawn. Then the body flew upside down with a heavy blow. It's... How can this be, Gohan-sama, how does that guy look like nothing is going on at all? Trunks looked at the scene in front of him with a shocked expression. In the face of his father's attack, he felt that no one would survive. But the Super 17 in front of him is not only fine, but it feels like his strength has become stronger. This... I don't know. At this moment, Sun Gohan was also anxious and sweating profusely. Because just now he also thought that Super 17 would definitely die in the face of Vegeta's fierce attack. But I didn't expect the other party to have nothing at all. Could it be that the super protective barrier is really so terrifying? You. You guy, how can there be nothing at all? Vegeta looked incredulous, how could it be as if the attack just now didn't hurt him at all? Oh, you still want to kill me with that floppy attack, tickle me pretty much. Super 17 looked at Vegeta with a smug look on his face and said mockingly. He could feel that Vegeta still had a lot of energy in his body, and he wanted to absorb all the energy in Vegeta's body into his body. Bastard! Don't get too carried away! Faced with Super 17's taunts, Vegeta was clearly enraged. 
clenched his fists again to increase his energy, and then attacked towards Super 17. Wu! Wu! The bodies of the two disappeared in place almost at the same time. In the next moment, they collided directly. Collision separates, and then collision separates again. White voice rings flashed in the air continuously, but no one could completely defeat anyone. Hu hu! This damn bastard, how does it feel that the more you fight, the stronger you get? Vegeta gasped and thought to herself. Because he found that this guy Super 17 has been fighting continuously for so long, not only has there been no sign of energy exhaustion, but he is getting stronger and stronger. The energy is also getting bigger and bigger. What's the matter, Vegeta, is that all you have? Super 17, watching Vegeta speak again and mocked. Don't look down on people. I'm going to see how you're going to get my strongest blow. At the same time as the words fell, Vegeta directly opened his palms, and two energy balls were condensed in his palms. Then they fused together, and a low roar rang out. Ultimate. Flash. That's right, this is his strongest attack. This is Vegeta's strongest blow, and it is also issued in the form of the fourth order of Super Scion, Vegeta does not believe that Seventeen will be able to take this move. Ha! Ha ha ha! It's so good to come. Energy. It's all mine. Looking at the oncoming Ultimate Flash, Super Seventeen not only did not have the slightest fear, but showed an extremely excited and greedy smile. Then he opened his arms and let Vegeta's ultimate flash blast hit him. Great, after absorbing Vegeta's energy, Super 17 will be invincible. Seeing this scene, Dr. Gro was also excited. What? Absorb Uncle Vegeta's energy. Hearing this, Son Gohan immediately realized that something big was not good. Then he hurriedly shouted to Vegeta in midair. Uncle Vegeta, stop quickly, he is absorbing your energy. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. What? Absorb my energy. Hearing this, Vegeta realized that the other party was deliberately provoking herself, in order to better absorb her own energy. But now it's too late. Because the ultimate flash that blasted at Super 17 just now has been completely absorbed by that guy. After absorbing Vegeta's energy, Super 17's body became stronger. The tight-fitting combat suit on his body is even propped up high. Damn, this guy actually actually absorbed my ultimate flash. Vegeta's clenched fists creaked, and the whole person was extremely angry. No wonder this guy deliberately provoked himself, the original purpose was to absorb his own energy. It's a great feeling. Super 17 felt the huge energy in his body, and a sinister smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Damn, Trunks and I will kill that guy bastard first. Saying that, Sun Gohan directly turned into a Super Scion, and then rushed towards Dr. Gro and Dr. Miao. I got Gohan Sama. Sun Yushin and Trunks also turned into Super Scions and followed. Since you want to die, then I'll send you on your way first. Dr. Miao said with a gloomy face. Super 17, leave Vegeta alone and kill all these damn guys. Wu. After waiting for Dr. Miao's order, Super 17 rushed over as fast as he could. After absorbing Vegeta's energy, Super 17 became faster. Didn't give the three of Sun Gohan any chance to react at all, and it was very easy to beat the three back to normal. Flash. Hell bomb. Then Super 17, with his hands on his chest, a black energy bomb quickly converged. Directly blasted out towards Trunks and a few people. Damn bastard, you're too blind to me Vegeta. Seeing this, Vegeta roared angrily and raised his momentum again. Then he rushed over to the hell bomb released by Super 17. Super Afterburner. With Vegeta's roar. The golden energy cannon collided with Super 17's flash hell bomb. Boom. The moment the two energies collided, a huge explosion sounded. However, Vegeta's super afterburner was quickly suppressed. It's not good. 
not enough energy. Run! Vegeta shouted at the trunks behind her. But Daddy! Trunks wanted to say something more, but after noticing Vegeta's eyes, he stopped saying more. Hurriedly flee into the distance. Boom! With a loud bang, it spread. Vegeta was directly blown away by Super 17's flash hell bomb. The exhaustion of energy, coupled with the physical injury, directly caused Vegeta to return to normal. They... Damn! Vegeta felt remorseful. If your energy hadn't been absorbed by this guy, you would have been able to defeat him. But it's too late to say anything now. Humph! Now let me drain the last of your energy. Super 17 slowly walked towards Vegeta, grabbed him by the neck, and then lifted him high. The energy absorption device on the arm is even more sealed to absorb every inch of energy in Vegeta's body. Ah 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 ah. As the energy was forcibly extracted, Vegeta also let out a scream of pain. Bastard, let go of Uncle Vegeta. Let go of my dad. Hearing Vegeta's screams, Son Gohan and the others returned again. Look for death. Flash shock. Looking at Son Gohan and the others who had returned again, Super 17 sneered, then raised his arm, and countless energy bombs blasted directly towards Son Gohan and the others. Boom boom. In the face of the powerful strength of Super 17, Son Gohan and the others were powerless to parry. Well done 17, kill them all for me now. Dr. Miao opened his mouth and gave instructions. Yes. After receiving Dr. Miao's instructions, Super 17's eyes glowed crimson, and then he was about to completely drain Vegeta's life energy. Damn. Is my Vegeta really going to die? I'm not reconciled. The energy was withdrawn little by little, and now Vegeta is a little reluctant to even open his eyes. Love energy, hey. I don't know if you are interested in my sense of energy. With a familiar voice coming out, Qin Tian's figure appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Hey! There are still people who take the initiative to send them to death. Looking at Qin Tian who suddenly appeared, Dr. Gro said with a somewhat puzzled expression. His aura perception device was completely unable to detect any energy reaction on Qin Tian's body. And this means that the other party is just an ordinary earthling. Just let the two of you live a little longer. Qin Tian glanced at Dr. Gro and the two, and then looked at Super 17 again. Wu. Then Qin Tian's body suddenly flashed, and he rushed directly towards Super 17. Qin Tian, the god of super science, in the rose state, was surprisingly fast, and he didn't give Super 17 any chance to react at all. His fist had already landed in Super 17's abdomen. Bang! A low crash sounded. Then Super 17's body flew upside down into the distance like a boring cannonball. And at the same time as shooting Super 17, Qin Tian even saved Vegeta in his hand by the way. Qin Tian! It's you! Vegeta looked at Qin Tian in disbelief. He didn't expect the other party to save himself. You must know that the relationship between the two is not very harmonious. You can still go, hide in a safe place. Qin Tian looked at Vegeta and said lightly. Good. Vegeta nodded heavily. Although he was very embarrassed to leave like this, Vegeta knew that his energy had been exhausted, and even staying here was just a burden. This guy can make himself stronger by absorbing energy, be careful yourself. Vegeta who was halfway through, finally stopped, then turned his head to look at Qin Tian and reminded. Although he didn't like Qin Tian, Vegeta understood that now was not the time to worry about personal grievances. If even Qin Tian's power was absorbed by Super 17, then I'm afraid that no one in the entire universe could be his opponent. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry, he's no match for me. Qin Tian smiled. He didn't expect Vegeta to be willing to let go of his pride and remind himself. But he never had Super 17 in mind. To be honest, if Super 17 hadn't absorbed Vegeta's energy, then his strength would have been tied with Vegeta in the Super 4 state at best. 
Even if Vegeta's energy is absorbed now, Super 17's combat power is far from reaching the level of the Monkey King who is controlled by Bibi. Damn it! Who the hell is this guy, how come I've never seen it before? And he doesn't have any chi on his body at all, how can he punch Super 17 away? Dr. Grohl looked at Qin Tian in the distance with a shocked expression, and the whole person was shocked to the extreme. Bastard! Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. I'm Super 17 after the merger, and no one is my opponent. Give me death! Super 17 roared angrily, and then quickly rushed towards Qin Tian. Then Super 17's gaze suddenly turned cold, and then his right hand was in the shape of five fingers, and the golden air bullet shot towards Qin Tian. Boom boom! The air bomb exploded, and Qin Tian's body was instantly swallowed by thick smoke and dust. After a while, the smoke and dust dissipated, and Qin Tian's body appeared intact in front of everyone's eyes. You better save this kind of attack. Qin Tian's cold voice fell, and then his body flew out like lightning. In an instant, he was behind Android 17, and then slammed Super 17 in the neck. Bang! The moment the collision sounded, Super 17's body instantly flew into the distance again. The body rubbed against the ground and flew a distance of several hundred feet. Boom, boom, boom. The ruins of the road were directly lifted away, and a hundred-foot-long ravine was plowed out of the ground. Super 17, who was beaten twice by Qin Tian in a row, had become tattered at this moment. It looks particularly embarrassing. It's... How is this possible, what the hell is this guy who has completely suppressed Super 17? At this time, Dr. Gro no longer had the same calm as before, but the whole person became panicked. If it goes on like this, it won't be long before Super 17 will really be killed by this guy. Bastard. Dr. Gro, you give me a good explanation, what the hell is going on, there is such a powerful guy on Earth, why did you never tell me? Dr. Miao was also very shocked. I can't believe what is happening in front of me at all, no matter how the other party looks at it, he is just an ordinary human being but it has a power that surpasses that of Super 17. I don't know, I've never seen this guy before. Dr. Giro's face was full of anxiety, and he already had a plan to escape. It's so strong. Is this Mr. Qin Tian's strength? I actually flew Super 17 so easily. Sun Yushan, Trunks, and the others, who were watching the battle from a distance, all looked at Qin Tian with shocked expressions. Only Sun Gohan's expression was a little calmer. After all, he had seen Qin Tian's strength, and he had defeated his father's Super Scion Third Order with one punch. Now the Earth is finally saved. Sun Gohan let out a long sigh of relief. But... Damn. This damn guy doesn't use energy to attack. Super 17 gritted his teeth and creaked. The anger in my heart was all written on my face. Originally, the attack he had just made was to deliberately lure the other party to use the energy cannon to fight back. But he didn't expect that Qin Tian didn't play his cards according to the routine, and he didn't attack with the energy cannon, so he actually gave himself another kick. Although his body didn't feel pain, he was knocked away twice by the other party, which made Super 17 feel very angry. No, this guy must be forced to use an energy attack. I don't know why I can't feel his chi, but since he can burst out with such a powerful strength, then pay attention to prove that his energy must be much stronger than Vegeta. As long as I can successfully absorb his energy, then my strength will definitely become stronger. Super 17 said to himself. I even thought about the next plan in my heart. I thought that after absorbing Vegeta's energy, your strength would become a lot stronger. Now it looks like I think too highly of you. Qin Tian shook his head and looked at Super 17 with a disappointed expression. Damn it, you don't think that's all I have. Give me death. After hearing Qin Tian's mocking words, even Super 17, who was an android, felt very annoyed. Ha! Flash, hell bomb! 
then, a huge black energy ball quickly condensed in his palm and blasted directly towards Qin Tian. Boring trick! Qin Tian shook his head disdainfully, and then slapped his hand casually, directly knocking Super 17's hell bomb out of the air. He understands that this guy Super 17 is deliberately luring himself to use the Qigong Cannon in order to absorb energy. But how could Qin Tian let him succeed? Although Qin Tian didn't think that Super 17 could absorb his divine power, but for the sake of insurance, Qin Tian would not give him a chance to absorb it. Wu. Qin Tian's body suddenly flashed out, and the speed was so fast that even Super 17 couldn't capture it. In an instant, I came to the front of Super 17. Then the fist slammed into Super 17's body. Protective Barrier Seeing this, Super 17 did not hesitate at all, and immediately opened the Super Barrier. Boom! Then Qin Tian's fist slammed into Super 17's Protective Barrier. Ha ha ha! See, as long as there's a protective barrier, you can't hurt me. Seeing that Qin Tian's attack was successfully blocked by his own protective barrier, Super 17's whole person laughed excitedly. Oh! Looks like you're pretty confident in this turtle shell. Looking at the Super 17 with a smug face, Qin Tian said lightly. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Of course, no one can break through my protective barrier. Super 17 still said with a smug face. Then I'll show you. Hey hey hey. Qin Tian let out a low roar, and a peach-colored energy aura immediately erupted from his body. Then he raised his fist wrapped in pink energy and slammed into Super 17's protective barrier. Bang. Boom. Click. Click. Under the power of Qin Tian's punch, Super 17's protective barrier was like a papier-mâché, and it was completely penetrated in an instant. In the end, the fist slammed into Super 17's chest. Bang! Super 17's body flew out like a meteorite, directly smashing the mountain hundreds of feet away. The corners of my mouth appeared to love you with a touch of red, and I don't know if it was engine oil or blood that flowed out. After all, Hell 17 was purely made of machines, but Human 118 was modified by normal humans. Damn! Damn! Super 17 roared wildly, like a mad beast at this time. There was a raging fire burning in his eyes, and he grinned his teeth. It's worthy of being an artificial human, and the strength of the body is really not comparable to that of humans. But I'm curious, with your current body, can you still absorb energy? Qin Tian touched his chin and looked at Super 17 with a playful expression. You'll find out if you try. Hearing this, a trace of expectation actually appeared on Super 17's face. Although he is seriously injured now, as long as he can absorb the terrifying energy of that guy, these are not a problem. Oh, you're hungry for energy. But I'm not going to give you a chance to absorb it. After speaking, Qin Tian's body instantly appeared in front of Super 17. Then a punch with the momentum of thunder smashed into Super 17's chest. Poof! This time, Qin Tian's fist directly sank into Super 17's chest. Directly smashed a hole in Super 17's chest. No! Impossible! Super 17's face was in pain, thinking that he could finally absorb energy from this guy's body. But I didn't expect the other party to not talk about martial arts. It's over, 17. Looking at the Super 17 on the ground, which had slowly lost its vitality, Qin Tian's arm shook, and the golden light energy flashed. Directly blasted Super 17's body to pieces. Congratulations to the host for successfully killing Super 17, completing the system task, and getting a reward, 200,000 exchange value. The system's chime sounded almost at the same time as Super 17 was killed. After obtaining the 200,000 exchange value rewarded by the system, Qin Tian's exchange value has also accumulated to 220,000, which is one step closer to exchanging the Super Scion God Peach 3. Continue to accumulate, 
it won't be long before you can change more peach 3 and free and extremely willing. Looking at the accumulated exchange value in the background of the system, the corners of Qin Tian's mouth showed a satisfied expression. With his current strength, except for Archangel Das, there should be no one in the entire GT time and space who is his opponent. So there's no need to redeem something that doesn't make much sense. As for those special moves, with Qin Tian's current strength, he could completely create some powerful moves by himself. Qin Tian was not worried about this at all. It's worthy of Mr. Qin Tian, he actually wiped out Super 17 in one fell swoop. I'm afraid that no one in the entire universe is Mr. Qin Tian's opponent. Sun Gohan in the distance sighed sincerely. But that's fine, after all, with a super strong person like Mr. Qin Tian protecting the Earth, they don't have to worry about the Earth being destroyed by people with evil intentions. Damn. Qin Tian, I will catch up with you sooner or later. Vegeta clenched his fists, although he was unwilling, he had to admit that Qin Tian's strength was indeed strong. With his current strength, he was no match for Qin Tian at all. I'll leave it to you here, I'll go first if I have some things. Qin Tian looked at Sun Wuhan and the others, and after a simple goodbye, he directly used teleportation to disappear in place. After Super 17 was destroyed, the gates of hell were closed completely. As for Sun Wukong, who was trapped in hell, he was reintroduced to the world by King Yama. Ah! Uh -huh. But I didn't expect Mr. Qin Tian's strength to become stronger again, and the opponent who couldn't even defeat the Super 4 Vegeta was actually eliminated by Mr. Qin Tian so easily. Looks like I still need to work hard. Sun Wukong exhaled helplessly. Although he is trapped in hell, he is very aware of what is happening in the world. Thinking of Qin Tian's perverted strength, Sun Wukong's fighting spirit was suddenly rekindled. Dad, the top priority now is to collect the Dragon Balls and restore the Earth to its original state first. Sun Gohan opened his mouth to remind. Although Super 17 was destroyed, the Earth was also destroyed and turned into a hell on Earth. And the most urgent thing now is naturally to ask the Divine Dragon to restore the Earth to its original state. That's right. Hearing this, Sun Wukong nodded and temporarily gave up his intention to cultivate. Then take Fang and Garud to start looking for Dragon Balls. Qin Tian, who returned to the Realm King God Realm, was not idle and started a new cultivation. However, this time, Qin Tian did not cultivate the power of the gods. Instead, he used his control of the power of the gods to create a trick that truly belonged to him. Although the power of the Tenfold Turtle Faction Kigong Wave is very strong, this is not his ability after all, and since he has come to the Dragon Ball world, how can he not have his own tricks? Then let me see what happens when I compress the divine power in my body rapidly. Saying that, Qin Tian clenched his fists and immediately turned into the Super Scion God Pink. Then the arm was raised, and the divine power worked quickly, and a purple energy ball the size of a basketball appeared in Qin Tian's palm. Glancing at the purple energy ball in his hand, Qin Tian didn't seem satisfied. Then he raised his other hand, and the palm of his hand also gathered an identical purple energy ball. Then he controlled the power of the gods and quickly fused the two energy balls together. Boom! With a loud bang! Qin Tian was directly blown away by his own energy ball. The whole person looked particularly embarrassed. However, this did not make Qin Tian give up, but made him more excited. Although he failed just now, it also allowed Qin Tian to find some methods. As long as you keep trying, you will definitely be able to create your own Super Kigong Cannon. Just do it. A few minutes later, Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Boom! The explosion sounded again, and Qin Tian was once again blown away by his own energy bomb. Old Ancestor, what's wrong with Mr. Qin Tian? The god of Jebet looked at Qin Tian who was cultivating in the distance with a puzzled expression, revealing a puzzled expression. He must be trying to create his own divine skills. It's just a wasted effort. If it's the most basic Qi self-created move, 
it's very simple, but if you want to use the power of the gods to create your own god skills, it's as hard as climbing to the sky. Except for the archangels, no one has ever been able to create their own divine skills. The old world king god shook his head and said with a disapproving expression. It's not difficult to create your own moves with chi, even the king of the realm can do it, and create powerful moves like the king of the realm fist and the yuan chi bomb. But if you want to create your own god skills, it's not that simple. When the old world king god was young, he also wanted to create his own god skills, but in the end they all ended in failure, after all, it was very difficult to even master the god skills. Not to mention self-created. Is that really the case? I don't know why, but I feel that Qin Tian Angel may really succeed. The god of Jebet looked at Qin Tian with a serious face and spoke. Although he knew that it was difficult to create his own god technique, he didn't know why the Jebet god just felt that Mr. Qin Tian might succeed. Cut. It's just an illusion. Do you think that the skill of the god is cabbage, except for the archangel, no one can create the skill of the god by himself? The old world king god glanced at the Jebit god and couldn't help but sneer. It's not that he doesn't believe in Qin Tian's strength, it's that the skill of creating a god can only be done by an archangel. No one has ever been able to do it except Archangel Das. Boom! And at this moment, a loud bang spread from the Realm King God Realm. Then, most of the Realm King God Realm directly turned into nothingness and disappeared. Ah! It's... What the hell is going on here? How could the Realm King God Realm become like this? Looking at the Realm King God Realm, which was suddenly missing more than half, the eyes of the Old Realm King God suddenly burst out, and his eyes almost fell to the ground. Old! Old ancestor, Mr. Qin Tian. He seems to have really succeeded. Yes, in the ears of the king god of the old world, the voice of the god of Jebit came. Wu. What, what do you say? Qin Tian, that kid succeeded. Hearing this, the whole person of the old world king god is not calm. Immediately looked at Qin Tian in the distance. I found that the loud noise just now was really made by that guy. And in front of him, what should have been a vast realm of the realm king god realm actually disappeared directly at this moment. Gollum. He. It's really become. It worked. The old world king god swallowed his saliva and looked at the scene in front of him in disbelief. Then the whole person sat down on the ground. It's terrifying. Qin Tian's talent is really terrifying, even if he learns the law of divine power in half a day, he has now created his own divine skill. The most important thing is that it really succeeded. Wu. It was a lot of wasted time, but it was a success. Looking at the power of the blow he had just made, Qin Tian nodded with satisfaction. Then he sat down on the ground and gasped for air. The skill of creating a god consumed a lot of his physical strength. Since it is a divine skill created with the power of the gods, let's name it, strike a blow to destroy the gods. After thinking for a moment, Qin Tian finally decided on the name of the divine technique. God Destroying Strike That Mr. Qin Tian, do you need me to help you with treatment? God Jebit came to Qin Tian's side and asked cautiously. Well. Thank you to God Jebit. Qin Tian nodded. Because of the relationship between the self-created God technique, Qin Tian's body also appeared with varying degrees of injuries at this moment. However, because these injuries didn't have much impact, Qin Tian didn't pay attention to it. You're welcome, Mr. Qin Tian. The God of Jebit nodded, and then squatted down to start treatment for Qin Tian. I heard my ancestor say that it is very difficult to create your own god technique, but I didn't expect you, Mr. Qin Tian, to succeed, it's really amazing. God Jebit said with a look of adoration. Whether it was the previous Bobby incident or the Super 17 incident, it made the Jebit god see Qin Tian's strength, which also made the Jebit god admire and worship Qin Tian very much. Hehe, he, it's actually too difficult. It's just that I accidentally destroyed the realm of the king of the gods again, 
and you will have to work hard to repair it later. Qin Tian said with some embarrassment. Since coming here, this guy has hardly stopped, either repairing the Realm King God Realm of the Destroyed Gods, or on the way to repair the Realm King God Realm. No. It's okay, it's my job. The God of Jebet said with a nonchalant expression. On the contrary, he is used to it. After the healing was completed, Qin Tian directly used teleportation to return to Earth. At this time, Sun Wukong and others have already collected seven Dragon Balls. Strange, how these Dragon Balls are not the same as usual. Sun Wukong looked at the Dragon Ball in his hand that had cracked, and said with some doubts in his heart. However, because they wanted to resurrect the killed Klin and the others as soon as possible, Sun Wukong didn't think much about it. Come out. Sun Wukong very skillfully shouted the spell to summon the dragon. However, this time, the dragon was not summoned as before. On the contrary, after waiting for a long time, there was no movement. Sun Wukong was also embarrassed, could it be that he shouted the wrong spell? Try again. Come out. Sun Wukong shouted the spell to summon the dragon again. But the dragon ball was still lying quietly on the ground, without the slightest movement at all. What, Grandpa, why is there no movement at all? Xiao Fang looked at Sun Wukong a little impatiently and asked. It doesn't make sense, that's how the spell works, but why didn't there be any reaction this time? Bulma couldn't figure it out either. There's nothing wrong with the spell but why didn't the dragon appear? I always have a feeling of unease. Sun Gohan opened his mouth and said in a low voice. This feeling is indescribable, but it makes him feel very uncomfortable. It's as if something big is going to happen in a minute. All right, I'll try again. Looking at everyone's eyes, Sun Wukong decided to try again, if it still doesn't work, then he can only ask Dandy, what the hell is going on? Come out. Sun Wukong was just about to speak, when the dragon ball suddenly moved, and wisps of blue smoke came out through the cracks on the dragon ball. Almost at the same time, the sky turned blood red, and the entire ground trembled violently. What? Is it an earthquake? Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. I feel like the appearance of the dragon is a little different this time and a powerful evil aura. Everyone said with a panicked face. Only Qin Tian, who was watching from a distance, looked at everything that was happening in front of him with a calm face. The evil dragon is about to be born. Then, blue smoke converged above the people's heads, and then formed the shape of a dragon. Finally transformed into a black evil dragon. Wu. What is it, is this a dragon? Grandpa. Xiao Fang looked at the ugly divine dragon in front of her with a disgusted expression, and spoke. Ah! Sun Wukong scratched his head and said a little incomprehensibly. You are not small, you dare to call Ben Long out. The evil dragon said with a smug smile. This dragon is very wrong, don't you think he is very tasteless? Bulma looked at the evil dragon with a suspicious expression, and couldn't help but complain. The air outside is so sweet, I'm resurrected again, and now I can make a big fuss again. Shen Long didn't pay attention to Sun Wukong and the others at all, but said it to himself. Anyway, I'll see if I can restore the earth to its original state. No matter what is going on with the dragon in front of him, Sun Wukong still plans to try it first. After all, only the dragon can resurrect Klin. However, under the expectant gaze of everyone, the evil dragon lit the cigar and smoked leisurely in the confused expressions of everyone. It's completely like a social person. It's really the same as the original. Seeing this scene, the corners of Qin Tian's mouth couldn't help but show a weird smile. And Sun Wukong and the others, after seeing Shen Long actually take out a cigar and smoke it, all showed shocked expressions. I couldn't believe what was happening in front of me. Then the evil dragon spat out a cigarette at the crowd and said, I will not obey you humans anymore. After saying that, the evil dragon sucked the dragon ball into its stomach in one bite, 
and then turned into seven blue evil dragons and flew in different directions of the universe. Then the king of the northern realm and the king of the realm god began to transmit the sound to Sun Wukong and others. Then the king of the old world reprimanded Sun Wukong and the others fiercely. Of course, the gods of the old world basically belong to Sun Wukong, after all, since these gods have long known that frequent use of Dragon Ball will accumulate negative energy, why not tell Sun Wukong about them at the beginning? I have to wait until after the birth of the evil dragon. I see. It seems to be a bit of a problem. After listening to the story of the realm kings and gods, Sun Wukong nodded in understanding. Rubbing his chin, thinking of a solution. Cut. What's there to worry about, according to his words, if we only need to destroy those evil dragons, won't dragon balls be restored to their original state? Hearing this, Vegeta clenched his fist and said very confidently. Although he is not yet able to rely on his own strength to become a Super Scion Fourth Order, he has asked Bulma to strengthen the portable Super Bolt's light instrument. The energy inside was enough for him to turn into the Fourth Order of the Super Scion twice in a row. So Vegeta at the moment can be said to be very confident. Vegeta seems to be saying the same, alas, just destroy those evil dragons. Hearing this, Sun Wukong also ignited his fighting spirit. Since it is the cause and effect that they planted, let them solve it themselves. Then, Sun Wukong, Vegeta and others embarked on the road of destroying the evil dragon. As for Qin Tian, he was not interested in other evil dragons other than the Super One Star Dragon at all, so he returned to the Realm King God Realm again. As soon as he returned to the Realm King God Realm, Qin Tian sensed the breath of the Archangel Das. And when the old realm king god saw Qin Tian coming back, he immediately ran over with a anxious face. Then he opened his mouth and said, Great, Qin Tian, you are finally back, Lord Archangel is waiting for you in the deepest part of the temple. Without waiting for Qin Tian to answer, the old realm king god directly pushed Qin Tian to the door of the realm king temple. What's the matter with Da suddenly looking for me? Qin Tian frowned slightly and looked at the old realm king god with a puzzled expression. You'll know later, go ahead, Lord Archangel is waiting for you. The old world king god said mysteriously. Seeing this, Qin Tian didn't continue to say anything more, and walked directly towards the deepest part of the temple. A few minutes later, I saw the Archangel Das, who had regained his angelic appearance. After seeing Qin Tian coming, a smile appeared on the corner of Das's mouth. You're here. Dos looked at Qin Tian and said with a chuckle. Hmm. Qin Tian nodded slowly. He he. Originally, I was a little skeptical of what the two of them said, but after meeting you, I am very sure that what they said is true. Master the introductory rules of divine power in one day, and create divine skills by yourself in half a day. I really didn't expect that our universe could actually give birth to a cultivation genius like you. You must know that the skill of self-creation of gods, apart from us angels, even the last god of destruction with the highest talent in our universe, Lord Yamathi can't do it. I didn't expect you to be able to do it, it's really shocking. Das looked at Qin Tian with a smile on his face. Although he had always been in the deepest part of the temple, he could still sense what was happening outside the temple. Not long ago, the terrifying divine power that erupted from Qin Tian's self-created divine technique directly woke him up while he was still asleep. Hey, hey! Qin Tian scratched his head with a smile, and then continued. Lord Amashi, is he the last god of destruction in our universe? That's right, Lord Yamathi is the last god of destruction in our universe and the strongest of all the god of destruction in this universe. Speaking of this, Archangel Das's expression suddenly became serious. Every tens of thousands of years, the universe needs to choose a suitable person to inherit the position of god of destruction. And Yamathi is the last god of destruction in this universe. The most powerful god of destruction. I wonder where this Lord Amos is, is now. Qin Tian asked his doubts again. It's a long story, 
but now that you are qualified to be the next god of destruction, it's time to tell you about it. Saying this, Archangel Das's face immediately became heavy, and he said, Actually, our universe is not the only one. There are a total of 36 universes in this world, 18 of which are ruled by gods, and the other 18 are universes ruled by demon gods. Our current universe is the seventh universe of the 18th universe ruled by the gods. What, 36 universes? After listening to Das's words, Qin Tian only felt that his mind was in chaos. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Although he had guessed that this universe might also have 18 universes like the Chronospace, Qin Tian was still shocked after hearing Das say that there were 36 universes in this world. Moreover, there are actually 18 demon god universes, which makes Qin Tian really unacceptable for a while. That's right. Dos nodded, and then continued, each of the 18 universes has its own god of destruction and angels, and of course there are also beings who govern all the gods, that is, archangels, and above the archangels is Lord Salama, the supreme dragon god of our god universe. Later, Lord Salama disappeared, and the 18 universes were leaderless, and they were no match for the demon god Kimyuka at all, and finally all the universes of the 18 universes except for the seventh universe fell. After saying this, Archangel Dosa's performance became visibly sentimental. As the administrator of all the gods, she is the archangel of all the angels, and not only has she failed to protect the other 17 universes. Even, in this seventh universe, he forcibly opened the protective barrier at the cost of half his life, so that he barely resisted the attack of the army of gods and demons. And that's why Das looks so weak. Because he must always send angelic energy to the barrier of the seventh universe, otherwise the army of gods and demons will conquer the entire seventh universe at any time. 36 Universes, Archangels, the Dragon Salama Demon God Kimyuka Hearing this, Qin Tian's whole person froze in place, pondering for a long time before he cleared his mind. For tens of thousands of years, I have been thinking about how to regain the universe that belongs to us every moment, and I am also looking for the traces of the dragon god Salama. After my calculations, Lord Salama may have been trapped in another time and space, although I don't know what the reason is, but in order to regain our U-Zone, Lord Yamosi went to another time and space alone, looking for the traces of Lord Salama. But it's a pity that Lord Yamosi has been away from this plane for tens of thousands of years and still hasn't heard any news at all. Speaking of this, Archangel Dose couldn't help but sigh helplessly. Uh. It turns out that the god of destruction of our universe has traveled to another time and space, no wonder he hasn't appeared for tens of thousands of years. Qin Tian took a deep breath and tried to calm his mood. Come on, I'll teach you the destruction divine power now, only by mastering the destruction divine ability, can you become the real destruction god of this universe. This is the only way you can live and travel to another plane to find Lord Salama and Lord Yamosi. After speaking, the sadness on Das's face suddenly disappeared, and the whole person instantly became serious. Then she closed her eyes slightly and a silver glow converged on her body. Then he gathered that silver brilliance on his fingertips and kissed it at the center of Qin Tian's eyebrows. Congratulations to the host for successfully obtaining, destroying divine power. Congratulations to the host for successfully mastering the divine power of destruction. Almost at the same time as the silver brilliance poured into his body, the system's prompt sound also sounded. Then Qin Tian's mind immediately appeared the use of the destruction divine power and the use of the destruction energy. And it feels like you have an extra hand, and you can control it freely. Wu. Qin Tian, you must master the destruction divine power as soon as possible, my angelic power is consumed too much, if I don't find Lord Salama within 10,000 years, I'm afraid that even this last seventh universe will be captured by the demon god. After handing over the divine destruction power to Qin Tian, Archangel Dos immediately gasped, obviously this was also a great drain on his energy. Don't worry, Dos. Since I'm already the god of destruction in this universe now, 
then I won't watch him being attacked by the demon god. Qin Tianyi said rhetorically. Although Qin Tian didn't know how strong the demon god was, if what Das said was right, then at least it would be no problem within 10,000 years. 10,000 years, I don't know what height my strength can reach. Ding! System task released, destroy the four-star dragon, reward, 50,000 exchange value. Ding! System mission released, destroy the super one-star dragon, reward, 300,000. Hearing the system prompt sound that suddenly sounded in his head, a touch of surprise appeared on Qin Tian's face. Unexpectedly, the system actually released two tasks directly this time. And the rewards for both missions are huge. Wu, 300,000 exchange value. Thinking of this, Qin Tian just didn't stay any longer. After saying goodbye to Archangel Dose on the pretext of cultivating and destroying supernatural powers, Qin Tian left the Realm King Temple directly. Then I used teleportation to return to Earth again. Although there is no Dragon Ball radar, with the sensing of divine power, Qin Tian can clearly perceive the exact location of Sun Wukong and the others and the evil dragon. Fortunately, the four-star dragon has not been defeated by Sun Wukong and them. After sensing the chi of the four-star dragon, Qin Tian breathed a sigh of relief. Then his body directly turned into a streamer and disappeared in place, Qin Tian's speed was very fast, and he came to the vicinity of a small town in a moment. Qin Tian was very sure that this town was the place where the four-star dragon hid, because the temperature here was unusually high. And the only one that can cause this situation is the four-star dragon called the Fire Dragon. Come out, four-star dragon! Qin Tian's body stood in mid-air, shouting at the town below. Wu! Almost as soon as Qin Tian's voice fell, a sound of breaking the air sounded. Then, an orange-red fireball suddenly appeared above Qin Tian's head. The fireball smashed down towards Qin Tian at an extremely fast speed, like a falling meteorite. However, in the face of this sudden fireball, Qin Tian's face was calm, and then he slapped his arm casually, shattering the fireball in an instant. As soon as the debris of the fireball fell to the ground, it burst into flames. At the same time, a red figure appeared in front of Qin Tian's eyes. With that orange-red skin and thick lips, who else could there be but a four-star dragon? How did you know I was here? The four-star dragon looked at Qin Tian with a vigilant expression, although he couldn't detect any aura fluctuations on the other party's body at all. But just by slapping his own super fireball with a slap just now, the four-star dragon understood that the other party was by no means an idle person. What's so strange about this, there's nothing on this planet that I don't know. Qin Tian smiled faintly, and then spoke. Really? If you really knew everything, you wouldn't be here today. The four-star dragon said in a slightly disdainful tone. Although he knew that Qin Tian's strength was not weak, the four-star dragon did not think that the other party was stronger than him. Okay, stop talking nonsense, hurry up and let me see your strength. Of course, if you can choose to refuse, but then I will kill you directly. The corners of Qin Tian's mouth raised slightly, and he said in a somewhat arrogant tone. However, the current Qin Tian does have arrogant capital. The strength of the four-star dragon can only reach the level of the super four monkey kings at best, and if strictly speaking, it is still slightly weaker than the super four monkey kings. But now Qin Tian has not only cultivated the Super Scion God Peach to the full attack rate, but also mastered the divine power of destruction. It can be said that if Qin Tian is willing, it only takes a moment to completely kill the four-star dragon. However, Qin Tian didn't plan to do that, firstly, he would not be able to enjoy the fun of fighting in that case, and secondly, because Qin Tian was not sure if he would destroy the Dragon Ball in the four-star dragon's body together with the destructive energy rashly used. If you destroy the Dragon Balls as well, you'll be in trouble. After all, if there are no four planets, there is no way for a one-star dragon to become a super one-star dragon. And Qin Tian didn't dare to bet on his 300,000 exchange value. Kill me directly. 
he he. It's ridiculous, I'll admit that you do have some strength, but you probably overestimate yourself. The four-star dragon obviously didn't take Qin Tian's words to heart. You must know that the strength of his four-star dragon can be close to the top three even among the twelve evil dragons. Just a human wants to kill himself, and the four-star dragon feels that it is impossible at this time. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. If there is a height or not, you will find out if you try it. The corners of Qin Tian's mouth raised, and he said indifferently. It's not that he looks down on the four-star dragon, on the contrary, he also thinks that the strength of the four-star dragon is still very strong, but he is stronger. Humph, arrogant guy. Originally, I didn't want to kill you, but if you insist on looking for death, then I can only fulfill you. After speaking, the four-star dragon's gaze became sharp, and he said in a cold tone. Wu. In the next second, the four-star dragon's body suddenly flashed and disappeared in place. Attacked directly in the direction of Qin Tian. It's good to come. Looking at the oncoming fire fist, Qin Tian did not hesitate at all, and also clenched his fists and blasted up. Boom! The moment the fists of the two collided, a loud noise spread. Then Qin Tian only felt a hot feeling coming from his arm. It deserves to be a four-star dragon known as the Dragon of Fire. Feeling the sharp rise in the temperature around him, Qin Tian's brows couldn't help but wrinkle. He doesn't like this burning feeling, so let's get rid of each other quickly. Then Qin Tian's body flashed out instantly, and the speed was very fast. Almost instantly, he was in front of the four-star dragon. Wu! What the? How can you be so fast? The four-star dragon was shocked, he didn't expect Qin Tian's speed to be so fast. I wanted to dodge but it was too late. Bang! A low collision sound sounded, and then Qin Tian's fist directly sank into the lower abdomen of the four-star dragon. The four-star dragon's body instantly bent into the shape of a prawn, and then smashed it towards the ground. Damn, this guy's strength is so strong! The four-star dragon covered his lower abdomen and looked at Qin Tian in midair with a look of disbelief. I thought that even if I had a little strength, it would definitely not be my opponent. But now the four-star dragon felt that he was wrong, and this guy in front of him had a strength that was not weaker than himself at all. If you don't get serious again, I'm afraid that the defeated person will really become himself. What's the matter, are you going to throw in the towel? Looking at the surprised four-star dragon on the ground, Qin Tian said lightly. I got carried away, I was just careless just now and now I'll use all my strength to fight you." The four-star dragon raised his eyebrows and said to Qin Tian. In fact, the current four-star dragon is not in combat form, because the temperature in his body is too high, so a protective film is arranged around his body. This will ensure that you don't hurt others and keep your body heated. However, in the face of such a powerful opponent as Qin Tian, the four-star felt that there was no need to continue to keep this protective film. Hey, 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 hey. Then the four-star dragon suddenly roared, and the crimson aura instantly burst out from its body. The surface of the four-star dragon's body began to crack, and then a golden light shot out of the crack. Soon, the red fragments fell from the body, and the four-star dragon changed into its original form. As the four-star dragon changed into its original form, the surrounding temperature increased by one level again. And this also made Qin Tian a little impatient. He doesn't like such a hot environment. Then Qin Tian's body directly squatted slightly, put his hands on his waist, and the huge divine power began to gather rapidly. Ten times the turtle sect Qigong wave. In the face of the oncoming super energy cannon, the four-star dragon did not dare to hold it up, and also used its strongest move. Burst attack. The moment the words fell, the four-star dragon gathered energy with both hands, and then two huge fireballs directly fused together, and then blasted towards the tenfold turtle sect Kigong wave. Boom. The moment the two energies collided, a loud bang spread instantly. 
and the four-star dragon's burst attack only lasted for a few seconds, and it was directly swallowed by Qin Tian's tenfold turtle faction Qigong wave. Wu! What? Without waiting for the four-star dragon to react from the shock, the powerful tenfold turtle sect Qigong wave directly devoured him. Boom! Finally, under a loud noise, the four-star dragon's body completely disappeared. And there is also a four-planet on the ground. Congratulations to the host for successfully killing the four-star dragon and getting a reward, 50,000 exchange value. Almost at the same time as the four-star dragon was destroyed, the system's prompt sound also sounded. However, Qin Tian didn't pick up the four planets on the ground, but flew directly into the distance. A few minutes later, an off-white figure with black bone spurs on his body picked up the four planets on the ground. Actually killed the four-star dragon so easily, who is this guy? The one-star dragon looked at the four planets in his hand, and his heart was very uneasy. Although his strength was stronger than that of the four-star dragon, he could not completely kill the four-star dragon in such a short period of time. And that guy just now actually killed the four-star dragon so easily, which couldn't help but make the one-star dragon nervous. Because he understands that the strength of the other party is likely to be above his own. Hey, I'm very strong, but my brain isn't very good, you can't imagine that I can become stronger by absorbing the power of the dragon balls. As he spoke, the one-star dragon directly swallowed the four planets in his hand. Then half of the four planets emerged from the belly of the one-star dragon. And he also successfully absorbed the power of the four planets and became stronger. Wu. Then the body of the one-star dragon flew in the distance, in the direction where Sun Wukong and the others were. He felt that all the dragon balls were on the body of Sun Wukong and the others, and only by absorbing all the dragon balls could his strength become stronger. And when he successfully absorbs all the dragon balls, there will be no one in the entire universe who can be his opponent. One star dragon, one star dragon, don't let me down. Watching the chi of the one star dragon move quickly in the direction where Sun Wukong and them were, the corners of Qin Tian's mouth were not sufficiently hooked up with a satisfied expression. As early as when he was fighting with the four star dragon, he found the one star dragon hiding in the shadows and observing, but that guy didn't make a move, so Qin Tian naturally pretended not to find anything. The task of the system is to kill the super one-star dragon, if Qin Tian directly kills the ordinary one-star dragon, even if he can get the system reward, then it is estimated that the reward will be halved. That's why Qin Tian took the four planets down and let the one-star dragon absorb the four planets to improve his strength. Otherwise, he was really worried that the one-star dragon would not be able to snatch the dragon ball from Sun Wukong's hands. After all, Unlike the original GT book, this time Vegeta is acting with Sun Wukong, and the current Vegeta can't rely on his own strength to become a Super Saiyan 4th Order. However, he can become a Super Saiyan 4th Order through the power of technology. If the two join forces, the odds of a one-star dragon are very low. Wu. Breathing out helplessly, Qin Tian decided to go over and take a look at the situation. If the one-star dragon really can't snatch the other five dragon balls from Sun Wukong's hands, then he can only secretly help the one-star dragon. 300,000 exchange value. Qin Tian will never give up. Phew, finally get rid of this sinister guy, thank you this time Vegeta, if it weren't for you, I'm afraid I'd really be killed by that guy. Sun Wukong scratched his head and said with a smile. Although the strength of the three-star dragon is not as good as the Super Four Monkey King, but the three-star dragon is very insidious, using the kindness of the Monkey King to hurt his eyes, and in the end, fortunately, Vegeta became the fourth order of the Super Scion in time, and then solved the three-star dragon. Cut, put away your kindness, these guys are evil dragons, you still expect them to change their ways, I really don't know what you think. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Vegeta pursed her lips coldly. Isn't there still you? But Vegeta, the thing you used just now is so amazing, it actually directly turned you into the fourth order of the Super Scion. 
Sun Wukong looked at Vegeta with a curious expression, although he also saw Vegeta use the Super Bolt's light to become a Super Scion Fourth Order when he was in Hell. But after witnessing it with his own eyes, Sun Wukong still feels very magical. I didn't expect Scions to be able to complete their transformation in that way. Shut up, Kakarot. Sooner or later, one day I will rely on my own strength to become a Super Scion Fourth Order, and at that time I will defeat you fiercely. Hearing this, Vegeta not only did not have a trace of happiness, but became angry. As a Scion, he actually needs to rely on the power of technology to make himself stronger, which in itself makes Vegeta very unhappy, so after hearing Sun Wukong's words, Vegeta will be so angry. Olivier Giroud Giroud After hearing Giroud's voice, Xiao Fang hurriedly looked at the Dragon Ball radar on his back. Look, Grandpa, there are two Dragon Balls moving quickly towards us. After noticing that the Dragon Balls were approaching her side again, Xiao Fang hurriedly shouted at Sun Wukong and the others. What? You actually took the initiative to come. Sun Wukong was also surprised, but he didn't wait for him to look at the Dragon Ball radar. And at this moment, a terrifying energy wave blasted towards Sun Wukong and Vegeta. Wu. What? Both Monkey King and Vegeta were shocked. I didn't expect the other party to move so fast. Boom. Before the two of them could react, the energy wave had already slammed into the ground beneath their feet, and then exploded in an instant. The 6,000 degree heat seems to ignite the surrounding air. All of a sudden, dust flew and rubble splattered. In the face of such high temperatures, Sun Wukong and Vegeta were not greatly affected, but Xiao Fang, who was not far away, fainted directly. Little. Xiao Fang. Sun Wukong hurriedly went over and hugged Xiao Fang in his arms, and then flew out of the heat wave area. Damn bastard, you dare to hurt Xiao Fang. Sun Wukong clenched his fists, and his face was full of anger. Grandpa. Dragon Ball. Xiao Fang said something with a weak face, and finally passed out directly. What? Dragon Ball. Hearing this, Sun Wukong noticed that Xiao Fang's backpack was missing. Are you looking for this, Monkey King? As he spoke, the One Star Dragon raised the backpack in his hand. Give me death, evil dragon. However, at this moment, Vegeta suddenly kicked at the body of the One Star Dragon. Smack! However, in the next second, it was directly blocked by a Star Dragon with his arm. Then the intense heat directly caused Vegeta to distance himself from the One Star Dragon. What a horrible heat! Vegeta's brow furrowed. I didn't expect that the Three Star Dragon that could release the air conditioner had just been solved, and now there was a One Star Dragon that could control the heat. Ha ha ha! What a bunch of idiots! I thought it would be a little difficult to snatch the Dragon Ball, but I didn't expect to get the Dragon Ball so easily. Yuxing Long looked at Sun Wukong and Vegeta and the others with a smug face. Then swallow the five Dragon Balls directly in your stomach. Then six Dragon Balls appeared in the belly of the One Star Dragon. Is this the power above all evil dragons? The One Star Dragon suddenly shook its arms, and a terrifying aura immediately erupted from its body. After absorbing all the Dragon Balls, the One Star Dragon is more than ten times stronger than before, and now he has completely crushed the Super 4 Monkey King and Super 4 Vegeta just by the aura that erupts from his body. Is this a Super 1 Star Dragon, the strength is really strong. Qin Tian, who was watching the battle from a distance, also showed a surprised expression on his face at this moment. At this moment, the Super 1 Star Dragon, judging from the performance of the breath alone, has completely surpassed the Super 4 Monkey King and the Super 4 Vegeta, and is even comparable to his Super Scion God Pink. Finally, I have an opponent worthy of my full strength. Qin Tian clenched his fists, and his body trembled with excitement. He felt that the belligerent factor of the Scion in his body had boiled, and he longed for a sweaty battle. It's so powerful, after eating Dragon Ball. This guy's strength has actually become so strong. 
Sun Mukong frowned and said a little incredulously. And at this moment, the appearance of the One Star Dragon also changed a little, and the star on his forehead disappeared, but appeared in his chest embedded in him. Xiao Feng, you have a good rest here, Grandpa will avenge you. Gently stroke Xiao Feng's hair, and then Sun Mukong found a safe place for Xiao Feng to rest. Then flew to Vegeta's side. Vegeta, be careful, this guy's strength is extraordinary. Sun Mukong looked at Vegeta with a solemn face and said. Hey, even if you don't warn me, I know. Vegeta pursed his lips, how could he not feel the power of the Super One Star Dragon? Now he is like two people just now. The chi behind him was even stronger than ever before. Come on Sun Mukong, didn't you look like you wanted to kill me just now? I'm waiting here now. Super One Star Dragon looked at Sun Wukong and Vegeta with a smug face and said. Even if you get stronger, I will definitely defeat you. After speaking, Sun Wukong clenched his fists, and then attacked at the One Star Dragon. The speed of the Super Four Monkey Kings is still quite fast, almost in an instant, the fist has already landed on the chest of the Super One Star Dragon. Bang! A punch comes out. The Super One Star Dragon's feet rubbed against the ground, and after retreating a few meters, it immediately stabilized its body. Then Sun Wukong's body shot out again, and a whip leg slammed into the neck of the One Star Dragon. However, in the face of Sun Wukong's powerful blow, the Super One Star Dragon was like a nobody, but he just turned his head. There was not a single injury to his body. It's... How is this possible? My attack has no effect at all. Sun Mukong's pupil shrank, and he didn't expect to attack twice in a row without reservation. It didn't hurt the One Star Dragon at all. It was hard for him to accept. That's it. Sun Mukong, your strength is much weaker than I expected. After speaking, the Super One Star Dragon immediately grabbed Sun Mukong's ankle. Then it slammed into the ground. Boom. At the same time as the explosion sounded, Sun Wukong's body was directly embedded in the ground. One Star Dragon, don't get too carried away. Super Afterburner. Vegeta let out a low roar, and then stretched out his arm and fired a powerful Super Afterburner cannon towards the Super One Star Dragon's body. However, the Super One Star Dragon stood motionless as if it didn't take Vegeta's attack to heart at all. Boom. The Super Afterburner Cannon hit the Super One Star Dragon very accurately. The ground was plowed out by this powerful blow into a ravine, two meters in diameter. However, the body of the Super One Star Dragon still stood in place, untouched. Wu. What? What kind of monster is this guy? My Super Afterburner doesn't even work on him at all. Vegeta's mouth grew in disbelief. He didn't spare his hand at all in that move just now, but even so, he still couldn't hurt the other party, and he didn't even make the Super One Star Dragon retreat. This makes Vegeta a little suspicious of his abilities. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Vegeta's attack can only kick up some dust, and it won't do anything to me at all. The Super One Star Dragon patted the dust on his shoulder and said with an arrogant expression, of course, he does have arrogant capital now. If you have any other moves, just use them, and if you solve them, it's that guy's turn. The guy that Super One Star Dragon said was naturally Qin Tian. After absorbing all the Dragon Balls, the Super One Star Dragon was not afraid of Qin Tian at all, no matter how strong the opponent's strength was, it was impossible to be the opponent of his Super One Star Dragon. Bastard! Don't look down on people too much. Hey, 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 hey. After feeling that he was being looked down upon by the One Star Dragon, Vegeta immediately clenched his fists, and a huge amount of energy immediately gushed out from his body. And with the continuous surge of energy, Vegeta's momentum has also been greatly improved. Wu. Vegeta then clenched his fists and launched an attack on the One Star Dragon. In the face of the oncoming Vegeta, the Super One Star Dragon still had a calm face, and it was very easy to dodge Vegeta's punch. Vegeta, however, 
had no intention of stopping. Alternating his fists, he launched a fierce attack on the body of the Super One Star Dragon. The fist shadow rained down on the Super One Star Dragon's body. However, with such a fierce attack, the Super One Star Dragon blocked them all very easily. Is this your full strength, Vegeta, it's really weak enough. The Super One Star Dragon sneered coldly. What did you say? Ultimate Flash Hearing this, Vegeta was completely enraged in an instant, and his body quickly retreated while his palms had already gathered the two of them. Then the blow containing terrifying energy blasted directly towards the body of the Super One Star Dragon. Idiot! However, in the face of Vegeta's energy cannon, this time the One Star Dragon did not choose to resist hard. Instead, he dodged Vegeta's attack in an instant, and then his body appeared in front of Vegeta at great speed. Wu! What, so fast? Vegeta is not given any chance to react at all. The Super One Star Dragon's knee was already heavily pressed against Vegeta's abdomen. Bang! The moment the muffled crash sounded, Vegeta's body flew upside down like a cannonball. Boom! After passing through several buildings in a row, the body fell into a ruin. The severe pain made him unable to continue to maintain his Super Scion form, and he directly returned to normal. Vegeta! Sun Wukong shouted loudly in the direction of Vegeta. He didn't expect the strength of the Super One Star Dragon to be so strong, and he and Vegeta were not his opponents when they joined forces. I almost forgot about you, Monkey King. After speaking, the Super One Star Dragon directly aimed at Sun Wukong on the ground, and released the super large fireball of the Four Star Dragon's trick. Ten times the turtle sect Kigong wave. In the face of the oncoming super large fireball, Sun Wukong did not hesitate at all, and immediately used his strongest trick ten times the turtle sect Kigong wave to fight back. However, due to the fact that the previous battle with Sang Zing Lu consumed too much energy, Sun Wukong was now short of energy, and the tenfold turtle sect Kigong wave was completely dispersed after persisting for more than ten seconds. Even Sun Wukong was knocked out by the Super One Star Dragon's Super Fireball. Daddy, are you all right? And at this moment, Sun Gohan, Sun Wuxian Trunks and others flew over. Looking at Sun Wukong, who had already fainted, Sun Wuhan immediately took out the fairy beans and gave him to eat. Well, it's terrible, is this guy an evil dragon? Sun Gohan looked at the Super One Star Dragon in the distance with a surprised expression, and his heart was very shocked. I didn't expect the evil dragon to be so powerful that Dad and Uncle Vegeta couldn't hurt him in the slightest. Here are a few more bugs. Super One Star Dragon looked at Sun Gohan and the others on the ground with a playful expression, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but show a smile. Do you mean that I am also talking about the little bugs? Qin Tian smiled slightly, and then his body slowly appeared in everyone's field of vision. Mr. Qin Tian After seeing Qin Tian appear, Sun Wukong also showed a happy expression. However, after thinking of the almost terrifying strength of the Super One Star Dragon, Sun Wukong's expression immediately became heavy again. Although he knew that Qin Tian's strength was very strong, the strength of the Super One Star Dragon was also not to be underestimated, and even he and Vegeta could not hurt each other even if they used all their strength. Great, it's Mr. Qin Tian. Trunks said excitedly. I didn't expect Mr. Qin Tian to come too, if Mr. Qin Tian is here, he will definitely be able to defeat the evil dragon. Sun Wuxian, who was still thinking about whether to save Sun Wukong and then escape disappeared in an instant after seeing Qin Tian who suddenly appeared. Instead, there was a smug look on his face. He had seen Qin Tian's strength, and in the face of an opponent that even the Super 4 Vegeta could not defeat, Mr. Qin Tian eliminated Super 17 very easily. Therefore, he thought that as long as Qin Tian made a move, even the powerful evil dragon in front of him would definitely be easily defeated. Don't be careless. The strength of the evil dragon is very strong. However, Sun Wuhan was looking at the one-star dragon not far away with a serious face, 
although he also knew that Qin Tian's strength was strong. But since the evil dragon in front of him can easily defeat Dad and Uncle Vegeta, it is obviously also very strong. So it's too early to tell. Gohan was right. Although Mr. Qin Tian's strength is very strong, the One Star Dragon is also very strong. Sun Wukong pondered for a moment and then continued, I have a way to defeat the One Star Dragon, but I need your help. The method that Sun Wukong pointed out was to use the Scion energy of Sun Gohan and Trunks to turn himself into a Super Scion Fourth Order All Energy form. At that time, his strength will skyrocket and reach the peak of the Super Four. If he joined forces with Mr. Qin Tian, he would definitely be able to defeat the One Star Dragon. Is that you? The moment he saw Qin Tian appear, the body of the One Star Dragon couldn't help but pause. Then clenched his fists slightly, feeling the majestic energy in his body that was about to overflow, the corners of Yuxing Long's mouth couldn't help but raise slightly to reveal a mocking smile, and said, If I had seen you an hour ago, I'm afraid I would have fled directly. But it's a pity, now that I've perfectly fused all the power of the evil dragon, no matter how strong you are, you can't be the opponent of my super one-star dragon. A star dragon landed on the opposite side of Qin Tian, his face was very proud. If he hadn't absorbed the power of the other evil dragons, that one star dragon would definitely not dare to go head to head with Qin Tian. But it doesn't matter anymore. After absorbing the power of all the evil dragons, the strength of the one star dragon has now reached an unprecedented height, let alone a small human, even a god cannot be his opponent. He <laughs> he. Facing the One Star Dragon with a confident face, Qin Tian only smiled faintly. Bastard, what are you laughing at? Super One Star Dragon, clenched his fists, and said with an angry face. I'm laughing at you for not knowing what's going on. One Star Dragon, why do you think you can absorb a Four Star Dragon? As he spoke, the corners of Qin Tian's mouth hooked up an intriguing arc. Wu. What? Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. SHHHH you foolish, do you think I'm going to believe it? The corners of Yuxing Long's mouth twitched fiercely, and he was also suspicious in his heart, but soon the trace of doubt in his heart disappeared completely. Because he is very confident in his current strength. Even if it was really as Qin Tian said, what was it? Now he had absorbed all the energy of the evil dragon and turned into a super one-star dragon. No matter what tricks this guy has up his sleeve, he will end up killing himself. Whether it's a trick or not, you'll soon find out. After speaking, Qin Tian directly clenched his hands into fists and turned into a super scion fourth order. Bang bang! A huge amount of energy immediately gushed out from Qin Tian's body. The ripples of energy under his feet spread out in circles and circles. The powerful energy aura even made Sun Wukong's eyes widen in the distance. Mix. Bastard. I didn't expect that this guy Qin Tian could actually become a Super Scion Fourth Order. Vegeta slowly rose from the ruins, and when he saw the scene in front of him, he couldn't help but clench his fists. The form that he could barely achieve by relying on foreign objects, Kakarot and Qin Tian actually succeeded so easily. Humph. Originally, I was worried about whether you would really hide any powerful power, but now it seems that I am too worried. You can't be my opponent at all. The Super One Star Dragon looked at Qin Tian with a smug expression and said. Although the power exuded by Qin Tian's body was indeed very strong, it was far from being able to surpass himself. You talk a lot of nonsense. Qin Tian's brows furrowed, and then his right foot slammed on the ground. The body shot out like a golden bolt of lightning. In an instant, he appeared in front of the Super One Star Dragon, and then made a fist with his right hand and blasted out of the abdomen of the One Star Dragon. The One Star Dragon didn't expect Qin Tian's speed to be so fast so he could only cross his arms in front of his chest to resist. Bang! The moment the fist and arm collided, a wave of powerful energy instantly centered on the bodies of the two and spread out in all directions. And the body of the one-star dragon fell back more than ten meters, 
and its feet rubbed against the ground to stabilize its body. Wu. Qin Tian didn't stop, and his body rushed towards the One Star Dragon again. Without waiting for the One Star Dragon to react, Qin Tian directly slapped him on the left side of the face. Boom! Then, the body of the One Star Dragon directly smashed into a tall building, and then flew upside down. It's so strong! My opponent, who Kakarot and I couldn't shake with all our strength, was beaten away so easily by him. Vegeta's face was shocked, he didn't expect Qin Tian's strength to be so strong. One Star Dragon, I know your strength is more than that. If you don't want to die, I advise you to do your best. Qin Tian looked at the ruins in the distance and shouted. He knew that the attack he had just done wouldn't hurt the One Star Dragon. Although the peak of the Fourth Order of the Super Scion is indeed very strong, it is obviously a little short to kill the Super One Star Dragon. Boom! There was an explosion, and the body of a star dragon flew out of the ruins. Cut, stupid man who doesn't know whether to live or die. If you want to kill me, you don't have that qualifications yet. Although he was kicked out by Qin Tian, he was not injured. Now I'll let you feel the strongest power in the universe. After the super one star dragon's voice fell, his body flashed directly towards Qin Tian. The speed of the Super One Star Dragon was very fast, and even among the people present, only Qin Tian could see his movements clearly. It's so fast. It's a Super One Star Dragon. Qin Tian didn't dodge the attack of the One Star Dragon, but clenched his fist and blasted out fiercely at the fist of the One Star Dragon. Boom! The moment when the two fists collided. The aftermath of the powerful energy directly shook all the surrounding rubble and rubble away. Even Qin Tian's body flew out upside down at that moment. Boom boom! Dozens of hard buildings were shattered on the way. Cut! What a vulnerability! The Super One Star Dragon looked at the huge holes on the top of the building and said with disdain on his face. Phew! Qin Tian stood up from the ruins and spat blood. It's a pleasure! After speaking, an excited expression appeared on Qin Tian's face. The numbness and swelling pain from his arm made his whole body tremble with excitement. Scared? That's right, after all, now I have the power to surpass everything in this universe, you are just a small human being, and it is reasonable to be afraid. The One Star Dragon thought that Qin Tian was scared. Immediately, the whole person laughed proudly. As everyone knows, Qin Tian was just too excited. Scared? You're the one to be afraid of. One Star Dragon, let me show you my true strength now. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. After speaking, Qin Tian immediately clenched his fists and roared angrily. Hey, 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 hey. The power of the gods began to circulate rapidly in the body. The peach-colored energy flame and the golden energy flame gushed out at the same time, and at first the two were still conflicting with each other, but soon the two energies, one red and one yellow, were blended together. And Qin Tian's black hair also turned peach. Boom, boom, boom. After fusing the power of the gods, the momentum on Qin Tian's body increased rapidly, and in the blink of an eye, he had already caught up with the super one-star dragon. Not only that, but the energy on Qin Tian's body continued to skyrocket, showing no signs of stopping. Wu! What? This guy's anger has actually increased so much all at once. After feeling Qin Tian's aura skyrocketing, a shocked expression appeared on the Super One Star Dragon's face. Because of this breath, he can be compared to himself all of a sudden. And the aura on this guy's body is still improving and there is no sign of stopping at all. This guy has to be interrupted, he can't continue. At this moment, the Super One Star Dragon was already shocked to the extreme, and he didn't dare to let Qin Tian continue. If this guy is allowed to continue, the consequences will be unimaginable. Then the Super One Star Dragon hurriedly raised his hands and shot a huge ball of light towards Qin Tian. However, in the face of the Super One Star Dragon's attack, Qin Tian smiled contemptuously. 
then he slapped him and flew straight out. I don't know now that I'm afraid. It's too late. Qin Tian clenched his fists slightly, feeling the majestic energy in his body, he knew that he had succeeded. He successfully fused the energy of the Super Scion Fourth Order and the Super Scion God. Arrogant. Even if your strength becomes stronger, what can you do, don't you think you can really defeat my Super One Star Dragon? After speaking, the Super One Star Dragon directly exerted the energy of the Four Star Dragon, and the whole body instantly turned red. The temperature on the surface of the body has exceeded 6000 degrees Celsius, which is even higher than the temperature before the Four Star Dragon. Bang! It's just that in the next second, Qin Tian's body flashed directly in front of the One Star Dragon. Wu! What, how is this possible? The One Star Dragon's pupils shrank suddenly, and the whole person showed an expression of disbelief, he didn't see Qin Tian's movements clearly at all. However, without giving him a chance to react, Qin Tian's fist had already sunk into the belly of the Super One Star Dragon. In an instant, the body of the Super One Star Dragon was directly bent into the shape of a prawn. Then he flew upside down into the distance for a distance of several kilometers. They. Damn, the abilities of the Four Star Dragon won't do anything for him at all. The Super One Star Dragon clutched his abdomen with one hand, and the pain kept his body tightly together. And at this moment, the One Star Dragon also completely understood. Why did Qin Tian keep the four planets to himself, and let himself become a Super One Star Dragon and let it go? Because all the strength of this guy is not at all weaker than that of himself who has absorbed all the evil dragons. Damn, this can't be. I've absorbed all the power of the evil dragon, and there's no way I'm going to lose to a tiny human. One Star Dragon Rage In the next second, he flashed directly towards Qin Tian Bang. In an instant, he came to Qin Tian's face, and then the stormy fist smashed towards Qin Tian's body. Woohoo! The fist shook and the air was rattling. But he was all dodged by Qin Tian. Well. It's so strong. Is this Qin Tian's true strength? Vegeta's clenched fist suddenly loosened, and the whole person exhaled helplessly. Vegeta, who originally wanted to rely on cultivation to eventually surpass Qin Tian, had completely lost that kind of thought at this moment. This gap in strength can no longer be bridged by hard work. Well. It's amazing. Looks like I don't need my dad to do it. On the side, Sun Wukong is also done, and after absorbing Sun Gohan's Scion energy, his strength has reached the full attack rate of the fourth order of Super Scions. But after seeing the Super One Star Dragon that had been completely suppressed, he also sighed helplessly. It seems that Gohan is right, and there should be nothing to do with himself for the time being. That's all you have. One Star Dragon, you really disappointed me. After grabbing the fist that came from the One Star Dragon, the corners of Qin Tian's mouth grinned. In the end, the knee hit the jaw of the One Star Dragon directly. Bang! Then the body of the One Star Dragon flew upside down for hundreds of meters again. There was even a trace of purple blood hanging from the corner of his mouth. Bastard! I will never let you go! The moment he felt the pain, the One Star Dragon roared out directly. Having absorbed all the evil dragon energy, he didn't expect to be so humiliated by a human. This made the Super One Star Dragon feel very humiliated. Negative Energy Bomb Then the Super One Star Dragon raised its hands above its head, and the seven dragon balls on its chest emitted an eerie light together, and then formed a black negative energy bullet. Suffer Death With a roar the Super One Star Dragon directly blasted the negative energy bomb in his hand towards Qin Tian. However, in the face of such an attack, Qin Tian had a flat face. Then he kicked the negative energy bomb out of the earth and flew into the universe. Wu. What? Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. My strongest blow, actually. One Star Dragon's eyes widened his face full of disbelief, he didn't expect his strongest blow to be defused so easily. 
looks like you're running out of options. Then it's your time of death. Qin Tian looked at the Super One Star Dragon and said indifferently. He knew that the One Star Dragon was not lying, and the negative energy bomb just now was his most powerful trick. Now that the other party has completely run out of options, there is naturally no need for this battle to continue. Then Qin Tian's body suddenly flashed, and he instantly came behind the Super One Star Dragon. And then swept it out with a heavy kick. Bang! The instep swept heavily on the back of the dragon's head. Then the body of the One Star Dragon flew out like a cannonball. Bang! Bang! Then he smashed several mountain peaks in a row, and his body rubbed against the ground and slid for thousands of meters before finally stopping. With that blow just now, Qin Tian used his strength and speed to the extreme, so the Super One Star Dragon didn't even notice his shadow at all. Damn bastards! Even if you are stronger than me, whatever. I use a barely dead body, you will never be able to kill me. The Super One Star Dragon slowly stood up. After being kicked by Qin Tian, the One Star Dragon was already very weak at this moment, and the whole person looked extremely embarrassed. However, he still didn't think that Qin Tian could kill him. He is a Super One Star Dragon that has absorbed the power of all evil dragons, and no one in this universe can kill him. Can't kill you. He <laughs> he. It seems that you still haven't figured out the situation, so let you try my self-created divine skill. As he spoke, Qin Tian smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Then both hands gathered the power of the gods at the same time, and finally fused the two powers of the gods together. Soon the energy blended together to form a basketball-sized ball of energy. And this seemingly ordinary energy cannon, the energy of death and destruction contained in it, made everyone present gasp. Well! What a terrible move! Mr. Qin Tian, you actually compressed your energy to this point. Seeing this scene, even Sun Wukong in the distance widened his eyes and showed an expression of disbelief. He could clearly perceive how terrifying the power contained in Qin Tian's blow was. After feeling the destructive energy contained in this blow, a thought immediately occurred in the mind of the One Star Dragon. Run! But how could Qin Tian give him a chance? Strike a blow to the gods! He roared angrily, and then Qin Tian did not hesitate to blast the energy in his hand towards the Super One Star Dragon. Boom! Ah! With a burst of terrible screams, the body of the Super One Star Dragon disappeared directly under Qin Tian's god-destroying blow. It's not just the Super One Star Dragon that has disappeared, it's the entire Earth that has disappeared by a third. Looking at the huge sinkhole that was blasted out by the blow of the god exterminator, Qin Tian Du couldn't help but gasp. This is still the damage caused by the premise that you control the power, and if you directly release your full strength, I'm afraid the entire Earth will disappear completely. Wu, looks like I'm going to have to control my strength in the future. Qin Tian sighed. Then there was a system prompt sound in my head. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully completing the task, killing the Super One Star Dragon and getting a reward, 300,000 exchange value. Listening to the prompt sound of the system, the corners of Qin Tian's mouth couldn't help but rise. The 300,000 exchange value of destroying the Super One Star Dragon plus his original 270,000 exchange value, now he has a total of 570,000 exchange value. And these exchange values are enough to exchange a lot of valuable things for yourself. Uh. Mr. Qin Tian, the power of your move is inevitably too strong. At this time, Sun Wukong walked over with a helpless face. Although he knew that the power of Qin Tian's blow was absolutely extraordinary, after seeing the terrifying sinkhole in front of him, Sun Wukong's face still showed a shocked expression. The gap between himself and Mr. Qin Tian is really not ordinarily big. I'm sorry, I didn't control the force well. Qin Tian also scratched his head slightly embarrassed. Now I can only pray that the Dragon Ball is not destroyed by my own god-destroying blow. Great, Dragon Ball is fine. It's great that Clint and the innocent humans can be resurrected. 
With Giroud's help, Sun Gohan quickly found the seven Dragon Balls that had been sent flying. And Qin Tian was also relieved to see that the Dragon Balls were intact. After saying goodbye to everyone, he left the Earth. And the Earth is also with the help of the Dragon Ball, once again restored to its original state, due to the reminder of the King God of the Old World, the Dragon Ball was temporarily sealed in the Temple of the Heavenly God, and it will not be easily used until it is absolutely necessary. But that's the best ending. And Qin Tian did not immediately return to the Realm King God Realm this time, but instead searched for the Super Dragon Ball in the universe. Qin Tian, the ancient language of the gods, had completely mastered it from the King God of the Old Realm, and he also had the coordinates of the seven Super Dragon Balls given by Zuno, so this was also the reason why Qin Tian was not in a hurry to find the Super Dragon Balls. After all, knowing the exact coordinates of the Super Dragon Ball, combined with teleportation, it is very simple to find the Super Dragon Ball. The important thing is what you want to make after collecting the Super Dragon Balls. Soon, Qin Tian collected a few Super Dragon Balls. Although Qin Tian still hasn't figured out why the Super Dragon Balls are all in the seventh universe, he thinks it should have something to do with Archangel Dos. After all, the reason why this universe was not invaded by the demon god was entirely because he was using his angelic power to protect this universe. However, Qin Tian didn't care anymore, the top priority now was to improve his strength. Come out, Shen Long. The Word of God Looking at the seven Super Dragon Balls in front of him, Qin Tian directly shouted out the spell to summon the Super Divine Dragon. Then Qin Tian's body seemed to be pulled into a mysterious space, and then a huge golden divine dragon appeared in front of Qin Tian. Say what you want, and I will make it come true for you. Word of God The Super Divine Dragon stared at the scarlet eyes and looked at Qin Tian and said in the language of the gods. My desire is that I attain immortality and immortality. The word of God, dot. Qin Tian did not hesitate at all, and directly said his wish. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. And this wish was decided by Qin Tian before he looked for the Super Dragon Ball, so now he said it directly without hesitation. Zamaza's immortal body in Dragon Ball Super is very strong, and if it weren't for the fusion with Black Goku, his immortal body would not have been flawed. The wish is simple. God's language. The moment the super divine dragon's voice fell, a golden light slowly sank into Qin Tian's body. With that moment of golden light submerging into his body, Qin Tian found that his body had also changed a lot. The strength of the body has increased more than ten times compared to before, and at this moment, it seems that he has inexhaustible power. No matter how he uses the power of the gods, he will not feel insufficient energy. After briefly moving his body, Qin Tian's face showed an excited expression. Now I'm afraid no one can easily kill themselves. Even angels are the same. Your wish has been granted, goodbye. God's language. After the super divine dragon finished speaking, his body turned into seven golden rays of light and flew out in seven different directions in the universe. Wu, Immortality and immortality, coupled with the power to destroy the law, this feeling is really good. Saying that, Qin Tian raised his right hand, and then a basketball-sized purple destructive energy appeared in his palm. Go! Then he let out a soft cry and shot directly at the Death Star not far away. Wu. The moment the destruction energy touched the Death Star, the entire Death Star instantly turned into a sky full of stars and then completely disappeared into the universe. Didn't leave a trace. It's worthy of destructive energy, and the power is really extraordinary. Qin Tian withdrew his palm with satisfaction. Destroying the magic power can be regarded as your biggest hole card, and when you fight with the enemy, you can also surprise and give the opponent a fatal blow. Then Qin Tian opened the system wall. Looking at the exchangeable commodities displayed by the system, Qin Tian thought for half an hour, and finally selected a few valuable commodities. Super Scion God Pink 3, 300,000 exchange value. Freedom Extreme Intention, 
500,000 exchange value. Self will, 450,000 exchange value. 20 times no side effects, 200,000 exchange value. After pondering for a moment, Qin Tian finally chose the Super Scion God Peach 3 and the 20 times the Realm King Fist without side effects. Now that he had completely mastered the power of the Law of Destruction, his ego would not have much effect on Qin Tian. As for the Freedom Extreme Intention skill, although it was very good, Qin Tian planned to save it for a later date, because Qin Tian now had an immortal and indestructible body, and his body was almost impossible to destroy. But the Super Scion God Pink 3, is completely different. Because Qin Tian had already been able to fuse the power of the Super Scion 4th Order and the Super Scion God Pink, Qin Tian was confident that he could also fuse the power of the Peach 3 with the Super Scion 4th Order. Moreover, in this way, the remaining exchange value can continue to be exchanged for 20 times the side effect free Realm King Fist. No side effects. If Qin Tian was used at full strength, then his strength would directly increase by 20 times reaching a very terrifying level. This is also the reason why Qin Tian chose to temporarily give up his Freedom Extreme Intention Gong and choose these two. After successfully redeeming the Super Scion God Pink 3, and 20 times the Fist of the King of the World without side effects, Qin Tian immediately felt that the energy in his body had become even larger, and even his combat power in normal times had been greatly improved. Hey! Uh -huh. Then Qin Tian directly clenched his fists, and a huge amount of energy immediately gushed out from his body. Then the black hair immediately turned peach. However, the energy in his body is still improving, and he has no intention of mentioning it at all. Next up is the pink three of the Super Scion God. Hey, hey, hey. Then Qin Tian roared out again. At the moment when the roar spread, Qin Tian's body also underwent some changes. The bushy eyebrows suddenly disappeared and were replaced by two extraordinarily prominent brow bones. The hair behind him grew rapidly, and finally fell on Qin Tian's back. Coupled with the lightning that swirled outside the peach-colored energy around his body, Qin Tian had an inexplicable domineering aura on his body. This is the power of the Super Scion God Rose 3. Qin Tian clenched his fists, and the surging energy in his body made him feel extremely shocked. This power is actually even more powerful than after he fused the power of the fourth order of Super Scion and the power of the Super Scion God. It's worthy of the Super Scion God Pink 3, I'm afraid my current strength has surpassed the God of Destruction. After lifting the transformation, Qin Tian's face showed a satisfied expression. Then Qin Tian returned to Earth again. He needs to borrow the Spirit Time House to completely fuse the energy of Peach 3 and Super 4. And when Qin Tian arrived on Earth, he found that the Earth had been restored to its original state, and all the humans killed by Super 17 had been resurrected. Long time no see, Dandy. After coming to the Heavenly God Temple, Qin Tian saw the Heavenly God Dandy at first sight. It turned out to be Mr. Qin Tian, I haven't seen you for a long time. But thank you so much for these few things, if it weren't for your help whether it's Super 17 or the Evil Dragon, they would definitely destroy the Earth. Dandy looked at Qin Tian with a grateful expression. As the God of the Earth, it should be his responsibility to protect the safety of the Earth, but he is not a fighting Namek, and he can't protect the Earth at all. Therefore, for Qin Tian's own great hero who has successfully protected the Earth many times, he is naturally very grateful. Don't thank me. I just don't want such a beautiful place to be destroyed. Qin Tian opened his mouth and said lightly. Also, Dandy, I'm here this time and want to borrow the spirit time house. Qin Tian opened his mouth and said the purpose of his trip. No problem. Since Mr. Qin Tian needs to use the spirit time house, then I'll let Mr. Bobo prepare food for you now. With that, Dandy arranged for Mr. Bobo to prepare the food. Because of his gratitude to Qin Tian, Dandy asked Mr. Bobo to send all the delicacies of the temple to the spirit time house. In this way, Qin Tian would be able to cultivate in it for a while longer. Thank you Dandy. 
After a brief thank you, Qin Tian directly entered the Spirit Time House. The Spirit Time House is the same as before, except for the rest area, it is a white expanse. And after simply eating some food today, I started to cultivate. Completely fuse the power of the Fourth Order of the Super Scion and the power of the Super Scion God Pink 3, which is also the purpose of his coming this time. Start cultivating. After speaking, Qin Tian directly turned into a Super Scion Fourth Order. After doing the warm-up exercises, Qin Tian began to fuse the power of the Super Scion God on the basis of the Fourth Order of the Super Scion. Drink. A low roar rang out. Then Qin Tian's body erupted with peach-colored energy aura, and at the same time, it was the golden aura of the Super Scion. Soon the two merged completely, and then became a whole new color. Crimson. With the continuous spurt of crimson energy, the momentum on Qin Tian's body was also soaring. The ground beneath his feet cracked inch by inch. Eventually, a spider web like crack is formed. And the crimson aura that erupted from Qin Tian's body also became even bigger. Next up is Super Scion God Pink 3. Give me fusion. Under Qin Tian's roar, the crimson aura spurting from Qin Tian's body instantly skyrocketed by 3 meters. The diameter has also been expanded by about a meter. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. And the divine aura on Qin Tian's body also began to continue to improve. Boom! Boom! With bursts of roars, Qin Tian's body appeared to love you for a short period of rejection, and the black and pink colors continued to transform. Boom! Finally, an explosion was heard. Qin Tian's body was directly exploded by the impact of two energies, and it flew out. Even the ground under his feet was blown out of a terrifying sinkhole. But Qin Tian's body was not injured in the slightest. But this is all the credit of immortality and immortality. In the face of the impact just now, if Qin Tian hadn't been immortal and indestructible, I'm afraid he would have been seriously injured. Wu. Choosing not to die or die is really the right choice. Exhaled, Qin Tian said with a satisfied expression. And because of the relationship between immortality and immortality, Qin Tian's whole person was like a perpetual motion machine, and he would not feel tired at all. Although the fusion failure just now consumed a lot of energy, now Qin Tian didn't feel tired at all, but felt that all the energy he had consumed just now had recovered. Continue to cultivate. At this time, outside the temple of the heavenly god. Sun Wukong and Vegeta arrived at the temple of the gods together. Hey, Mr. Dandy Qin Tian has never been here. I clearly felt his anger just now, why did he suddenly disappear now? Sun Wukong looked at Dandy with a curious expression. He and Vegeta both sensed Qin Tian's chi and came over originally thinking that Qin Tian would guide them in their cultivation. But unexpectedly, as soon as they arrived at the Heavenly God Temple, Mr. Qin Tian's Qi suddenly disappeared. It's Mr. Gaku and Mr. Vegeta. Qin Tian is in the Spirit Time House. Dandy spoke. Since it is Monkey King and Vegeta, then he has nothing to hide. Oh, so that's the case, I'll just say why Mr. Qin Tian's anger suddenly disappeared. It looks like we can only wait for him to come out now. Sun Wukong shook his head helplessly. Although there are some regrets, but now they can only wait, after all, once the spirit time house is closed, unless the people inside take the initiative to open the door, there is no way to open it again. Hey, Kakarot, Trunks, and Goten, we should be able to use that trick too. Vegeta looked at Sun Wukong and said with a serious face. Vegeta, you mean, fusion. Hearing this, Sun Wukong's face immediately showed a surprised expression. You must know that Vegeta has always been very averse to fusion, and now how could this guy suddenly mention this? Cut. Was asked by Sun Wukong like this, Vegeta also blushed. Then he opened his mouth and explained. Kakarot, you should also understand that if you want Qin Tian to guide us in cultivation, you must let him recognize our strength, but even if I join forces with you, 
it is impossible to defeat Qin Tian. After saying that, Vegeta immediately clenched his fists, although letting Qin Tian guide his cultivation did make Vegeta feel extremely embarrassed. But in order to become stronger, he Prince Vegeta is willing to give up his princely pride. In his opinion, as long as he can become as powerful as Qin Tian, then everything is worth it. Hmm. Vegeta, you're right. Hearing this, Sun Wukong's face also became heavy. After pondering for a few seconds, he nodded earnestly. If you want Qin Tian to guide them in cultivation, you must first show enough strength. Come on Vegeta. The two looked at each other, then nodded. Then in the Temple of the Heavenly God, he practiced the fusion technique. Mr. Bobo didn't feel anything, after all, it wasn't the first time he had seen him. And Dandy's face couldn't help but blush slightly after seeing the strange steps and movements of the two. Half an hour later. The two of them had already made enough preparations, and then they waited for Qin Tian to come out of the Spirit Time House. Inside the Spirit Time House. After two years of cultivation, Qin Tian finally succeeded in completely fusing the Super Scion Fourth Order and the Peach Red Three. Not only that, but in the two years of cultivation in the Spirit Time House, Qin Tian's basic combat power had also been greatly improved. Even the current Qin Tian's normal combat strength has reached a terrifying level. It's time to go out too. Qin Tian simply cleaned up and was about to leave the Spirit Time House. Although there is no shortage of food and drink, but living alone for two years, this kind of loneliness is really not something that ordinary people can bear. Click. Opening the door of the Spirit Time House, Qin Tian saw Sun Wukong and Vegeta, who were already waiting outside. Great, Mr. Qin Tian, you finally came out. Sun Wukong looked at Qin Tian excitedly and said. In the past two days, Sun Wukong felt like a year, so after seeing Qin Tian come out, he was so excited. Monkey King, do you want to borrow the Spirit Time House? Qin Tian looked at Sun Wukong with a puzzled expression and said. He didn't understand why these two guys were here, and it looked like they were waiting for him here. No, Mr. Qin Tian, we are not here to borrow the Spirit Time House, but to fight with you. Sun Wukong still said excitedly. Although he couldn't be Qin Tian's opponent on his own strength alone, since he and Vegeta had completed their fusion, that terrifying power had brought Sun Wukong great confidence. Therefore, he firmly believed that as long as he fused with Vegeta, he would definitely be able to defeat Mr. Qin Tian. Fight with me. Forget it, you two haven't even reached the Super 4 full attack rate now, I'm really not interested. Qin Tian glanced at the two of them, and immediately shook his head helplessly. He really didn't have much interest in the two of them now, and in the past two years of cultivation in the Spirit Time House, his strength had improved dramatically. Even if Sun Wukong and Vegeta join forces, they have no chance of winning. Hey, hey! Don't say it too soon. Mr. Qin Tian, why don't we make a bet? Sun Wukong smiled, and naturally had an idea in his heart. Bet on what? Seeing that Sun Wukong was so confident, Qin Tian was also interested. If Vegeta and I join forces to defeat you, then you will have to guide us in our cultivation. Sun Wukong looked at Qin Tian with a serious expression. But his face was full of confidence, and there was a smile on his lips. Although I don't want to hit you. But since you're sure, come on. Qin Tian said with an indifferent expression. Although he didn't know why Sun Wukong was so confident. But Qin Tian was also more confident in his own strength, and he didn't think he would lose. And there is no such possibility at all. Great. Seeing that Qin Tian agreed, Sun Wukong said with some excitement. Then there is the proposed battle in the Spirit Time House. After all, the strength of both of them is too strong, and now the Dragon Balls of the Earth have been sealed. Therefore, fighting in the Spirit Time Room is the safest. And Qin Tian also wanted to see what Sun Wukong and the two of them wanted to do, so he didn't refuse. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels.
Okay. If you fight in this place, you won't have to worry about affecting the earth. Looking at the familiar scene of the spirit time house, Sun Wukong said with a satisfied face. Don't waste time, let's get started. Qin Tian opened his mouth and urged. He's been in this place for two years, so he really doesn't have a good opinion of this place. Hmm. Sun Wukong nodded, then looked at Vegeta. And Vegeta was also very skilled in taking out the Super Burtzi Light Instrument, and then instantly turned into the fourth order of the Super Scion. Boom boom. Golden Aura erupted from his body in an instant. Although his strength is not weak, he still can't let Qin Tiangao take a look. At the same time, the Monkey King on the other side has also become the fourth order of Super Scion. I thought you could make a name. For yourself. Forget it, I shouldn't have any illusions about you. Qin Tian shook his head helplessly. Although the strength of the two has improved significantly, it still can't make him serious. Humph. Don't worry, Mr. Qin Tian. The show is only starting now. After finishing speaking, Sun Wukong glanced at Vegeta. Vegeta immediately understood and took her place. Then the two of them made a familiar gesture. Wu. What? No wonder this guy Monkey King is so confident, I see. Seeing this scene, Qin Tian couldn't help but widen his eyes, and then immediately showed an expectant expression on his face. It's actually fusion. No wonder Sun Wukong is so confident. Super 4 Gogeta. That's really exciting. Melt. Hey. After the two of them tacitly took a strange dance step at the same time, the two index fingers were just attached together. The golden light instantly enveloped Vegeta and Sun Wukong, and then the entire spiritual time house turned into gold. The golden glow lasted for a full minute, and then the outline of a figure appeared. Looking at the incomparably familiar figure, Qin Tian suddenly smiled and said, Who are you? Of course, Qin Tian knew that the person in front of him was Wujita, and the reason why he asked like this was to listen to the classic quotations of Wujita, forcing the king to be Wujita. I'm neither Monkey King nor Vegeta, I'm the one who is about to take you down. Sure enough, an arrogant and extremely familiar voice came out, and then Wujita's body completely appeared in Qin Tian's sight. Red hair, a classic vest, and a red tail swinging behind him and the corners of his mouth hung with an extremely confident arc. Super 4th Gogeta, I didn't expect to have the opportunity to fight with you, it's really exciting. Qin Tian said excitedly. Come on, show your true strength to fight me. The corners of Super 4th Gogeta's mouth were still with that confident smile, and he said to Qin Tian. If you want me to show real strength, you don't have that qualification yet. After speaking. Qin Tian immediately clenched his fists. Hey, hey, hey. A low roar came out of Qin Tian's throat, and then Qin Tian directly turned into a Super Scion Fourth Order full attack rate form. A huge stream of golden energy immediately erupted from Qin Tian's body. Although in terms of momentum, Qin Tian was indeed inferior to the Super Four Wujita, Qin Tian did not have the slightest fear. Instead, there was an expression of excitement on his face. Humph. Get carried away. Since you don't want to show your real strength, then I have to force you to use all your strength. The corners of Gajita's mouth lifted and he laughed coldly. Then his body suddenly flashed and disappeared in place. The speed of the Super 4 Wujita was very fast, and even Qin Tian didn't fully see Wujita's movements clearly and Wujita had already appeared in front of Qin Tian. So fast. Facing the oncoming fist, Qin Tian instinctively crossed his arms in front of his chest to defend. Bang! In the next second, Gojita's fist slammed into Qin Tian's arms. And Qin Tian's body was shocked by this huge force and fell backwards for hundreds of meters, and his feet plowed two furrows on the ground before he could barely stabilize his body. It's worthy of Gogeta, the strength is really strong enough. Feeling the somewhat sore arm, Qin Tian couldn't help but speak. However, not only was there not the slightest shock in his heart, 
but he was a little excited. At this moment, Qin Tian felt that the belligerent factor in his body was active again, and he was now very eager to have a hearty battle with the Super 4 Wujita in front of him. Again. Super 4th Wujita snorted coldly, then tapped his toes, and then rushed towards Qin Tian. At the same time, Qin Tian also moved and rushed towards Wujita. Bang! The speed of the two is very fast. In the blink of an eye, the fists of the two containing terrifying power collided fiercely. Boom! The moment the fists collided, the space around them seemed to be distorted. There was a crackling sound, and purple lightning danced wildly. The ground under his feet cracked rapidly, and finally two big craters appeared. Fortunately, they are fighting inside the spirit time house, and if such a battle is placed outside, I am afraid that the entire earth will be destroyed again in a few more times. Bang! The moment the two fists separated, Qin Tian's body flew out upside down again directly in the opposite direction. It's worthy of the existence that can easily defeat the Super One Star Dragon. Gajita, you're really strong. Qin Tian said secretly in his heart. After the simple battle just now, Qin Tian understood that his Super 4 full attack rate was indeed not the opponent of Super 4 Wujita. You must know the form of your Super 4 full attack rate, but even the Super 1 Star Dragon can be suppressed, and he also fuses the strength of the Peach 3 and the Immortal Body, and the basic combat power has been greatly improved. But I didn't expect that even so, I was a Super 4 full attack rate, but it was still not as good as the Super 4 Wujita. Give it your all. I know you are not the only one. Wujita shook his head at Qin Tian and said very arrogantly. Good. Then let you see it, my twenty-fold realm king fist. After speaking, Qin Tian clenched his fists and immediately unleashed the twenty times realm king fist. The whole person's body was covered by a layer of red light, and then his strength instantly increased twenty times. And at this moment, the aura emanating from Qin Tian's body has completely surpassed that of the Super 4 Wujita. Hmm, is it the Realm King Fist? With such a high multiplier of the Realm King Fist, your body won't be able to support it for long. Wujita shook his head, although Qin Tian's qi surpassed him at the moment, Wujita didn't take Qin Tian in his eyes at all. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. In his opinion, Qin Tian's doing this was tantamount to cutting himself off. The power of the super race was already violent, and using the Realm King Fist on the basis of the super race itself had the risk of exploding, and now Qin Tian actually used 20 times the Realm King Fist, which was no different from looking for death. Don't be too presumptuous, my Realm King Fist doesn't have any side effects. After speaking, Qin Tian slammed his right foot on the ground. Then the body shot out like a sharp arrow out of the string, and shot out towards Sun Wukong's body. Then a heavy punch slammed into Gajita's chest. Bang! However, Wujita's reaction was very fast, and his arm quickly twisted to directly block Qin Tian's heavy punch. Wu! Then Qin Tian's body flashed again and appeared behind Wujita. A whip leg struck Gajita in the neck like lightning. Bang! Although at the critical moment, Gajita blocked it with his arm. But the body was still swept away by the powerful power of this blow. No side effects, it looks like you are telling the truth. Now you are indeed qualified to be my opponent. Gajita looked at Qin Tian with an excited expression on her face. Although I don't know if what Qin Tian said is true or not, from now on, Qin Tian's body does not have any adverse reactions and his strength is not weaker than himself at all. That's enough for her staying. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not just going to be your opponent, I'm going to beat you out. After speaking, Qin Tian clenched his fists, and then his body suddenly disappeared. Wu. Wu. The bodies of both men disappeared in place almost simultaneously. Bang, bang. With the sound of collision constantly sounding, only two different rays of light, one yellow and one red, could be seen in the sky colliding back and forth. Boom circles flashed in the air. 
and the ground of the spirit time house is constantly appearing one after another depression. In just three minutes, the two have already fought a thousand times. Bang! Bang! With the sound of collision, both of them hit each other hard in the face with their fists. Then both of them flew backwards in a direction that they couldn't figure out. At this moment, there was a trace of blood on the corner of Wu Jita's mouth, but Qin Tian was safe and sound because of the relationship between his immortal body. And I didn't feel physically exhausted at all because of the continuous fight just now. On the contrary, the whole person is like a perpetual motion machine, with high morale. Wu. Wu. Are you a monster? After fighting for so long, you don't have anything to do. At this moment, Gajita had already begun to gasp for air. He didn't have an immortal body like Qin Tian, so the high-intensity fight just now was a great drain on his physical energy. Not only am I fine, but I'm getting more and more excited. Qin Tian clenched his fists, and the excitement in his heart couldn't be suppressed at all. The Realm King Fist, which has no side effects, is really powerful. There was no discomfort in the body at all, but the combat power was directly increased by twenty times. If he unleashed all his abilities and finally used the twenty times Realm King Fist, how much could his strength increase? Qin Tian felt excited when he thought about it. I admit that your strength is indeed very strong. But I can't lose. As he spoke, Gajita's eyes suddenly became serious. Hey, 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 hey. Then he clenched his fists and roared. Gold instantly erupted from Gajita's body. Crackling. Circles of small snake-like lightning surrounded the golden flames. And the chi on Wu Jita's body continued to improve, and soon caught up with Qin Tian, who had used the twenty times Realm King Fist. This guy is really arrogant enough, and he even wants to forcibly improve his strength at the cost of overdrawing his physical strength. Qin Tian frowned slightly, although Gojita would make them disintegrate quickly if he did this. But I have to say that this has also greatly improved the strength of Gojita, at least the current Gojita, the strength is probably not weaker than that of himself who used the twenty times Realm King Fist. Then let me see what else you have to do. The corners of Qin Tian's mouth raised slightly. I was looking forward to it. Again. Wu Jita frowned and then his body shot towards Qin Tian like lightning. It's so fast that it's completely unresponsive. Qin Tian could only barely see the afterimage of Gojita's body, and then he was directly punched in the chest by Gojita. Bang! A low collision sound sounded, and then Qin Tian's body flew directly backwards behind him. However, Wu Jita didn't give Qin Tian a chance to stabilize at all, his body came directly behind him, and then he clenched his fingers crossed, and slammed down on Qin Tian's back. Bang! Boom! The powerful energy directly slammed Qin Tian's body to the ground. Inlaid in the ground. Humph, I'm not going to lose. Looking at the huge sinkhole on the ground, Gajita's face showed a satisfied expression. However, the next second. Boom! Suddenly, there was a loud bang on the ground. Then Qin Tian's body flew out directly from the ground. Although the clothes looked a little tattered, there were no scars on the body. Wu. What? Seeing this scene, Gajita's eyes couldn't help but widen, revealing an expression of disbelief. The attack just now was almost overdrawn by his physical strength, so he didn't spare the slightest hand. But Qin Tian in front of him was not injured at all. It's worthy of Gojita, and the strength is really strong. But I should thank you, the attack just now makes my strength seem to be stronger again. After saying that, Qin Tian immediately clenched his fists, and golden aura instantly gushed out from his body. It was obvious that Qin Tian's ability was even stronger than before he was beaten. And Wu Jita looked at Qin Tian with the same expression of disbelief. It's my turn next. After speaking, Qin Tian's body suddenly disappeared in place. Before Gajita could react, his body had already appeared in front of Gajita, and then he bent his legs and knees against Gajita's abdomen. Boom! 
the powerful force directly made Gojita spit out a mouthful of sour water, and then her body flew out quickly backwards. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Wu. Then Qin Tian reappeared behind Wu Jita, and with a leg sweep, he directly knocked Wu Jita's body flying again. Ahem. Gajita covered her abdomen with one hand and slowly stood up. At this moment, he looked particularly embarrassed. Throw in the towel, you're no match for me. Qin Tian looked at Wu Jita and shook his head. Throw in the towel, stop kidding. There's absolutely no way I'm going to lose. Hey, hey, hey. After saying that, Gajita roared again, and continued to overdraw his energy to improve his strength again. Continuing to overdraft will only accelerate the speed of disintegration, and it won't allow you to defeat me. Qin Tian said with a flat face. How do you know if you don't try? Let's use this last trick to decide the winner. After saying that, Gajita suddenly stretched out his hands in front of him, and a huge ball of energy condensed from his palms. Big Bang Turtle sect Kigong Wave After finishing speaking, he blasted directly at Qin Tian. Strike a blow to the gods. In the face of Wujita's Big Bang Turtle sect Kigong Wave, Qin Tian did not relentless at all, and immediately used a god-destroying blow. Boom! The moment the two energy waves collided, a loud bang was suddenly set off, and then the entire spiritual time house except for the rest area was all crushed by the energy aftermath. And Wujita's Big Bang Turtle sect Kigong Wave, under the power of the Divine Exterminator's blow, only lasted two minutes before it was completely defeated. Then Qin Tian quickly changed the direction of the attack of the God-destroying strike and shot towards a few thousand meters behind Wujita. Although Gajita escaped by luck, the aftermath of the explosion still shocked him and disintegrated into Sun Wukong and Vegeta. Outside the Mind Time House Although the Spirit Time House is completely isolated from the Earth, the huge energy impact still startled Dandy. Mr. Qin Tian and Mr. Wukong, what kind of battle are they fighting? Dandy looked at the Spirit Time House with a worried look on his face and spoke. Celestial Sama, look! The door of the spiritual time house has been opened. Mr. Bobo shouted excitedly. Then Qin Tian walked out with the fainted son Wukong and Vegeta. Mr. Gaku, Mr. Vegeta. Seeing this, Dandy hurriedly ran over. Sure they had just fainted, Dandy was relieved. Then treat them right away. Two minutes later, son Wukong and Vegeta woke up. Hey, what's going on, I'm so dizzy. Sun Wukong rubbed his head and said with a puzzled expression. The moment he looked at Qin Tian, Sun Wukong recalled everything that happened in the spirit time room just now. I didn't expect it to fail in the end. Sure enough, even if I fuse with Vegeta, I won't be Mr. Qin Tian's opponent. Sun Wukong sighed with some regret. Originally, I thought that I could take this opportunity and let Qin Tian guide them in their cultivation, but I didn't expect that they would fail in the end. At this moment, whether it is Monkey King or Vegeta, both of them are disappointed. I thought that I would definitely be able to defeat Mr. Qin Tian by relying on the fusion technique, and then let the other party guide them to cultivate, but I didn't expect to be defeated. And it was a fiasco. Sun Wukong knew that in the battle just now, Mr. Qin Tian did not use all his strength at all. Not even the power of the Super Scion God was used. Damn! Vegeta slammed his fist to the ground, and he was very unwilling in his heart. He was eager to become stronger, but the gap between him and Qin Tian was not something that could be bridged by hard work alone, so Vegeta would think of letting Qin Tian guide him in his cultivation. But now the last hope is also gone. Looks like you really want to get stronger. Qin Tian looked at Sun Wukong and Vegeta, and finally shook his head helplessly, and then spoke. Of course, Mr. Qin Tian. Whether it's Bobby or the evil dragon, if it weren't for your help, I'm afraid the earth would have been completely destroyed by them. So we want to become stronger, only by making it stronger, and when the next time the earth is in danger again, we can rely on our own strength to protect the earth. 
Sun Wukong looked at Qin Tian and said with a serious face. He understood that Qin Tian could not always protect the earth, and one day the earth would still need them to protect it, which is why Sun Wukong was so eager to become stronger. Although Vegeta on the other side did not speak, his eyes were the same as Sun Wukong, revealing a desire for power. Okay. Qin Tian nodded. Hearing this, Sun Wukong and the others both showed excited expressions, is Mr. Qin Tian planning to guide them in cultivation? Don't rejoice too soon. I am willing to gamble and lose, since you have not been able to defeat me, then I will not guide you in your cultivation. But for the sake of your desire to get stronger, I can tell you a way to get stronger quickly. Qin Tian looked at Sun Wukong and said. A quick way to get stronger. Really, Mr. Qin Tian. Sun Wukong looked at Qin Tian with some doubts, could it be that there was really any way to make their strength stronger quickly? Of course it's true. You only need to inject the mental power of five scions with righteous hearts into the body of another scion, then this scion can become a super scion god. Qin Tian looked at Sun Wukong and Vegeta with a serious face, and explained. Super. The god of the scions. Golem. Hearing this, Sun Wukong swallowed his saliva excitedly, and his whole face showed an excited expression. Inject the mental power of five scions with righteous hearts into the body of another scion, so that the super scion god can be born. I didn't expect the super scion god to come like this. Super. The god of the scions. Hey, Kakarot, what's that, and why do you look so excited? Hearing this, Vegeta showed a puzzled expression, it was the first time he had heard the name. However, it is not difficult to see from the excited expression on Sun Wukong's face that this super scion god is by no means simple. Hey, hey! You don't know yet, Vegeta, but it's okay to find out later. I'll bring them over now. After speaking, Sun Wukong directly used teleportation to disappear in place. Three minutes later, Sun Wukong took Sun Gohan, Sun Wuxian, Trunks, and Bra back to the Temple of Heaven. What the hell happened to Dad, you are in such a hurry to bring us all here? Sun Gohan looked at Sun Wukong with a puzzled expression. Originally, she was still reading when her father pulled her over. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. Yes, Daddy, Parlace is still waiting for me to go on a date. I'll be late if you do that. Sun Wuxian complained with a dissatisfied face. Wait patiently, Goten, I think Uncle Gaku has brought us all, there should be something very important to inform us. Trunks spoke. Sun Wukong nodded, and then told everyone about the Super Scion God. And after listening to Sun Wukong's words, everyone will also show an expression of disbelief. I didn't expect scions to be able to take the form of gods. Damn Kakarot, why are you the protagonist every time? Vegeta pursed her lips and said with a curse. Although he said this, Vegeta's movements in his hands did not stop at all. I'll be right next time, Vegeta. Sun Wukong said indifferently. Then everyone slowly injected their mental strength into Sun Wukong's body. It's... Can you really become a god like this? Dandy looked at the people in midair in disbelief. A moment later, Sun Wukong's body suddenly emitted a golden light. The dazzling light stabbed everyone could only cover it with their hands. Two minutes later, the golden light faded. Then the Monkey King, who turned into the Red God of Super Science, appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Is this a success? Sun Gohan showed a suspicious expression. Why can't I feel my father's anger anymore, is it a failure? Sun Wuxian scratched his head, with a puzzled expression. On the contrary, Vegeta on the side frowned together, and his fists tightened unconsciously. He understands that Sun Wukong has succeeded. Although the current Monkey King looks a little different from Qin Tian's time, the feeling exuded by his body is the same as Qin Tian's touch at the beginning. Actually, it really worked. Dandy said with a little trembling. As the god of the earth, 
others may not be able to feel the divine aura on Sun Wukong's body, but Dandy can vaguely feel it. So he is very sure that Sun Wukong at this moment has become a god. How is it, Monkey King? Are you still used to this state? Qin Tian came to Sun Wukong's side and nodded with a smile. Wow Ka Ka! Is this the power of the Super Scion God? It feels huge, and I don't know why I feel like my body is suddenly lighter. Saying that, Sun Wukong rushed forward. Bang! As a result, because he couldn't control the power, Sun Wukong's body crashed directly into the Temple of the Heavenly God. It hurts. It hurts. Sun Wukong rubbed his head. The sudden strengthening of his body made him a little unable to adapt for a while. Stupid, Kakarot. Vegeta pursed her lips and said with a grudge. But I'm still very excited in my heart, since Kakarot can become a super scion god, then he Vegeta can definitely too. Just when Qin Tian was about to instruct Sun Wukong on how to use the power of God, the prompt sound of the system suddenly sounded. Ding, the system quest is released, please host defeat the Sion Reg who arrived on Earth 10 days later, reward, 500,000 exchange value. Hearing the system prompt sound that suddenly sounded in his head, Qin Tian's body trembled violently. Riga, Super Sion 5th Order Although the strength of the Super Sion 5th Order was very strong, the power that Qin Tian currently held was no weaker than the Super Sion 5th Order. Moreover, Qin Tian still has immortal and indestructible bodies, and the power of destruction, if he really wants to fight, even if it is the fifth order of the Super Sion, Qin Tian has the confidence to kill it. Ten days later, it's really exciting. Whether it was the fifth order of the Super Sion or the exchange value of 500,000, these made Qin Tian look forward to it very much. However, he had just come out of the Spirit Time House, so he didn't plan to continue cultivating for a short time, and he wanted to take advantage of this time to rest and rest. Savor the Earth's delicacies. After all, the food in the spirit time house can only ensure that you are full, and the taste is a bit unsatisfactory. For the next period of time, Qin Tian directly settled in Bulma's capsule company. After all, he is a hero who has saved the Earth many times. Therefore, Bulma's attitude towards herself can be said to be very respectful, and as for her daughter Bra, she also admires a powerful man like Qin Tian very much. In this way, Qin Tian was in the capsule company and enjoyed the happiness of a rich man for a few days. As for Monkey King and Vegeta, after mastering the power of the Super Scion God, they began their respective cultivations. Ten days later. Capsule Inc. Two scions, a man and a woman, were looking at Vegeta not far away with contempt. The corners of his mouth also made a sarcastic sound from time to time. Come on, brother, let me see King Vegeta's good son, whose strength has reached that level now. Reg looked at Vegeta, hooked his hand, and said with a mocking expression. Reg, I'm not going to let you hurt my family. Hey, 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 hey. The moment a low roar came out, Vegeta directly turned into Super Saiyan God Red. Red energy erupted, and Vegeta's appearance became much younger. Hey! The breath suddenly disappeared, interesting, is this the capital you are proud of? My stupid brother, then let my brother teach you what true power is. Although Reg was a little surprised by Vegeta's Super God form, he still didn't take Vegeta seriously. Because in Reg's eyes, whatever Bekometh Vegeta becomes, the result is the same. I can't lose to anyone now. Humph, don't scream so disgustingly, I don't remember that I had a brother like you. Vegeta is too lazy to talk nonsense with Rigdo. During these ten days, Vegeta has been cultivating all the time, in order to be able to master the power of the Super Saiyan God as soon as possible. And now Vegeta even without the help of other people's mental power, can become a super scion god at will. Hey, hey, hey! Immediately, with a low roar, the collective clenched fists and launched a direct attack on Reg. Vegeta's punches were so fast that they were in front of Reg's eyes almost instantly. However, 
Reg was extraordinarily calm in the face of Vegeta's attack, and even handed over with a smile. Smack! Reaching out for his palm, he easily caught Vegeta's fist. Wu! What? Vegeta was stunned. I didn't expect this guy to be able to take the full force of the Super Saiyan. You seem surprised, brother. Is that all you have to do? Reg looked at Vegeta and sneered. What are you kidding, I would never lose a guy like you. Although he knew that he was not an opponent, Vegeta still refused to give up, and immediately swung his fists and launched a stormy attack on Reg. In the face of Vegeta's continuous attacks, Reg simply defended a few times before starting a counterattack. Bang! Vegeta's eyes jerked out as a muffled crash sounded. Look down! Reg's fist had sunk into Vegeta's abdomen. Poof! Vegeta spurted a mouthful of blood, and then her body quickly flew upside down. I thought you were so strong in this form, Vegeta, you disappointed me so much. Reg looked at Vegeta with disdain. As a strong man, Reg could feel that Vegeta's form was very strong, and even had a high upside, but it was a pity that Vegeta did not fully grasp the power of this form. If Vegeta fully grasps all the powers of this form, he may have a chance to force himself to become a Super Saiyan 5th Order. Read more novels by visiting our website, Night Novels. It's a pity that Vegeta doesn't have that chance. Damn it! Don't be too complacent, do you think that's all I have? With that, Vegeta immediately took out the Super Boots light instrument. Then, under the light of Super Bolts, it became the fourth order of Super Scion. Bang bang! For a moment, a huge amount of energy immediately erupted from Vegeta's body. Hey, Super Scion fourth order! Using foreign objects to forcibly turn yourself into a Super Scion Fourth Order, our Scion's face is simply lost by you. Reg clenched his fists and looked extremely angry. Well, so what, as long as I can defeat you everything, that's enough. Vegeta pouted, of course he didn't want to borrow a foreign object to become stronger if he could. This is also the reason why he didn't become a Super Four as soon as he came up. But now, he has no choice but to defeat Reg. He <laughs> he. Defeat me, is it just you, the fourth order of Super Scion, who can only transform by relying on external objects? Ridiculous, ridiculous. My stupid brother, then let me show you what is the true power of the Super Scion fourth order. After saying that, Reg immediately clenched his fists, and a terrifying momentum suddenly erupted from his body. Hey, hey, hey. A low roar roared out of his throat. With Reek's roar, the entire earth began to shake violently. The stones on the ground slowly floated into the air. With Reek's body as the center, the terrifying chi waves spread in all directions in a circle. And the ground under his feet was directly cracked like a spider's web. Trunks, as well as Bulma and the others who were watching, were all swept away by this powerful aura. For a while, the whole earth was in turmoil, like a flat boat in the ocean, as if it could be destroyed at any time. Is this Reg's strength, it's just the fourth order of the Super Scion, and the momentum that erupts is no weaker than that of the Super Four Gogeta. Qin Tian in the distance looked at Reg with a solemn expression. My heart is also very shocked. However, he didn't plan to make a move immediately, because Sun Wukong's Qi was already coming towards this side. Well, what terrible energy. Obviously, he is also a Super Scion Fourth Order, why is his Chi so much stronger than Dad? At this moment, Trunks was already overwhelmed by this force. In his memory, the only person who can reach this level of strength is probably Mr. Qin Tian. But now that Mr. Qin Tian is missing, how should they deal with this enemy in front of them? Mix. Bastard. How could such a thing happen, I, Vegeta, am the prince of the Scions? How can you be surpassed? Vegeta clenched her grip and roared unwillingly. With the continuous spurting of golden chi, with the blessing of anger, Vegeta's momentum has also improved a lot. But even so, his strength is still extremely small compared to the Super 4 reach. 
the strength of the two is not in the same dimension at all. I'll help you recognize the reality. The corners of Reg's mouth lifted, and then his body flashed out quickly. A remnant was left in place, and Reg's body appeared in front of Vegeta. The right leg is bent and the knee is slammed into Vegeta's abdomen. Wu! What the? So fast! Vegeta's pupil shrank, and she didn't have time to think. Immediately fold your arms over your chest. Bang! With a low crashing sound, Vegeta's arms across his chest slammed uncontrollably into his chest. Bang! Then Vegeta's body flew upside down like a cannonball out of a boring cannonball. It's not over yet. Then Reg's body flashed again, and he came behind Vegeta. A punch slammed into Vegeta's back. Boom! At the moment of flying upside down, Vegeta's body directly pierced through more than a dozen high-rise buildings in a row. Thank you for choosing fanfiction uploads. We hope you enjoyed this journey into anime and fanfiction. The adventure continues, so stay tuned. Your feedback matters to us. Leave a comment with your favorite stories, suggestions, or your own fanfiction ideas. We love hearing from you. Hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss an upload. Share our channel with friends and fellow anime lovers. Thank you for being part of our community. Until next time, keep dreaming, listening, and keeping the anime spirit alive. See you in the next episode.